scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Now put your name wherever you see Sarah, put your name and prophesy it convicts in you. Turn it into a prayer. Do for me, O God. What I cannot do for myself. Do for me, O God. I just the oil, that's what I need. Just bring the oil, drop it on the altar. Thank you. Hallelujah. It is my prayer that from tonight your life will change in a very remarkable way. Life is full of choices. You can choose to let today be like any other day. You can make up your mind. That today will be my day of encounter you can make up your mind that today will be my day of liberty you can make up your mind that today will be the day that I break open to new levels of grace new dimensions hallelujah I want us to realize that every time God speaks it is because he has examined himself and concluded that he has the power to make it happen are we together before God speaks a thing he looks at himself that's what it means to be faithful is his name It's not an attribute he looks at himself so if he says I want to bless you and lift you he first searches do I have the capacity to make this happen if he does not have the capacity to make it happen he will not speak 
and God has declared he's opened up this series to us it is because he wants to bless us in the name of Jesus I'll teach you just two laws to light just two more laws please get success system part one and part two get it even if you were here it's free part one and part two listen to this these are the keys that we operate in this kingdom I was teaching the school of ministry students yesterday and I was telling them how that don't ever be confused that we're operating in two systems everybody say two systems there is the kingdom of darkness the world system of doing things are we together and there is God's system of doing things if you follow the world system of doing things you will be frustrated for sure you will be unfulfilled for sure you will live a life of pain and misery and frustration for sure you may laugh temporarily you may pretend that it is working but i assure you as surely as the sun rises and sets you will find out that eventually your life will be full of disappointment i have been sharing with us the laws that are responsible for dramatic breakthroughs write this down the first thing i want you to write is nothing happens on its own nothing happens on its own failure does not happen on its own success does not happen on its own lifting does not happen on its own stepping into a realm of the anointing does not happen on its own a business does not grow and expand on its own a ministry does not become great on its own every level of success is initiated and sustained by laws write it every level of success is initiated and sustained by laws l-a-w-s laws principles keys a door does not open because you want to enter your desire to enter is not the seed for open doors access to the key is what opens the door you can stand in front of a door you can wish to enter you can hope to enter you can even ask to enter you can beg to enter but the door will not open it was not designed to open just from wishing whoever possesses the key is the one who opens the door have you seen a very big door being controlled by a small key and because that key is missing you can stand outside from morning till night is that true and so the things that we are going to be learning tonight especially for the laws i'll be sharing with you i pray that god will help you and give us understanding to believe them in jesus name let's recap on the laws we've been discussing so far right from part one can you open your notes and let's just quickly look at them law number one help me please the law of relationships very important I don't care who you are I don't care what you studied I don't care what school you went to relationship um, is very key to success who you know matters don't say who you know does not matter no sir you are people away from your destiny you ignore those people you never get there you will find God but you may never arrive there all blessings come from God through men to you please repeat it after me from God through men to me one more time from God through men to me it never comes from God to you directly it comes from God through men to you there is an impartation that is coming from God it's leaving heaven but it's going to pass through men to you are we together your prosperity comes from God when it comes from men you are in trouble it comes from God but men have always been channels I told us when we started that anything money can buy relationships can buy I don't care what it is name anything you know on earth that requires money to get relationships when you pay money you don't pay stones you pay men you don't pay goods you don't pay animals when you give money the sky does not pick the money it gives it to the men they can choose to allow your relationship pay for it are we together that's law number one what's law number two 
help me the law of value never forget this another word for the law of value is the law of difference you can call it the law of reward that my relevance as far as success is concerned is tied to the solutions I can provide and the problems I can solve you're not solving any problem you are unnecessary and will not be needed there's no sentiment about it are we together a sick person needs a doctor if someone who wants furniture needs a carpenter is that true yes you must find your place in the realm of greatness by becoming unique at your giftings value whatever ability you have never ask for a dimension you do not have the value to exchange for it the law of value works based on a reward system lord i want you to give me 1000 members you must rise to the place where you sustain spiritual value in terms of grace revelation access understanding and content to be trusted with those kinds of people when you rise to that level of anointing you don't have to call them they will come in response to it so if you pastor 12 people don't sit down and complain and get angry and say i i saw in my vision that i'm pastoring a nation but as you increase in value are we together the day three dead people are raised from your church you don't need to publicize for new people journalists will come you don't need to invite them is that true listen i want you to take this take this very law law too very seriously the law of value that means if people ignore me if everywhere i go i am ignored it's not because they hate me i am not a contributor are we together now the world celebrates contributors not not takers unfortunately we live in a society that is full of takers what is in this for me and life tells you there are all kinds of blessings but only a portion for those who have the ability and the grace to contribute are we together whoever solves the problem gets the reward Goliath of God was roaring and there was a throne there was a wife there was a tax-free opportunity everybody was afraid to confront that challenge but a young teenager called David came and said Saul I'm able to take on Goliath and he said what shall be done for the one who does this he will get a wife his family will be freed from tax and he will be honored David said I take up that challenge do you know it was a risk if Goliath killed David they will say we said it now go and bury him and um, Jesse take it easy you have other sons so it was a risk standing between you and your throne is a problem to solve the kinds and the quality of problems you solve determines the reward that comes to you are we together yes that's why there are different kinds of restaurants based on the quality that they produce are we together the amount you pay for this chair is not the amount you pay for the white chair you are sitting on why they are all chairs but qualities even among the stars one excelled above another in glory that determines your 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 reward it is foolish to give so little to life and demand so much no your reward is commensurate to your value so if i think my financial returns is small that simply means i am solving small problems or solving problems for small people whoever solves a millionaire's problems has access to a millionaire's finance are we together yes the tailor who sold your cloth is laughing with your money now in his house you parted with that money because you could not sew for yourself the day you learn how to sew you will stop paying him is that true ladies and mothers you went to the market today you woke up in the morning with money in your pocket now that money is not there where did it go to it went to the one who solved the problem you were looking for so if all you do is keep meeting problem solvers you will be broke because money will continue to leave you to them the day you join them as a problem solver somebody's money now comes to you are we together when you solve more problems than your needs you become rich irrecoverably more problems 
than your needs. Your needs are 10,000. The problems you solve is 1,000. You are minus 9,000. That's a life of frustration. Up to date, down tomorrow. Are we blessed? The law of value. The key to getting out of a life of complex, a life of inferiority, is not just to say, people don't like me. Oh, I am this. I came from this village. All that is nonsense. The world will throw away every excuse to honor valuable people. There are sport athletes who sometimes have to speak their native languages and they will interpret. Nobody has forced them to speak English. You know why? Because what they are doing is their sports, their field, their footballers that you see with all kinds of things, regardless of their limitations, they chase after them. Who pursues you is a sign of your value. Who pursues you if weak and low and beggarly people seek you? It's a sign that that is the quality of the value you provide for them. If great influential people pursue you, it's a sign that that is the value. Listen, every man's financial destiny with respect to value and solution provision is left in his hands. It's left the hand of God long ago. It's in your hands. We have a very funny world that believes people should just bless you and give you money for doing nothing and i always ask that question who do you think you are the world is made up of 7.2 billion people who wake up every morning looking for who can solve their problems and you don't solve any problem you see that's why armed robbery and corruption is bad you see that a corrupt person has reward without value you see why we say corrupt people are bad so we see someone building houses and estates but we and whose problem did you solve if you can show us the problem you solve we don't have a problem with the rewards whether financial or otherwise so next time you ever see a rich man don't be angry find out what value what problem they are solving that answers the question as to whether pastors should be blessed or not I'm not talking of a life of extravagance. You know, most times when people see pastors blessed, they say, ah, just for talking. That's the thinking of a fool. The words I speak unto you, they are what? Spirit and life. A pilot is paid over 0.5 million per month. Why? Because he's flying people across places. That's someone's salary for decades and someone just finishes an aviation school within two years or three years and is receiving over 500,000 is the value every accident from a plane crash ends in death immediately except some divine intervention comes so that's a risk are we together you sit down and for 50 minutes sometimes eight hours when you are traveling from Africa to Asia, 90% of your journey is across water. You don't see a single land. And somebody is risking to take you over 45, 50,000 um, um, uh, feet above sea level. Now that's mastery. So he's rewarded. You who didn't have the courage to go to that school, you are the payer. And the pilot who risks himself is the recipient. The day you are angry, what do you do? You go to the school. When you learn it, are we together? Do not ever frown at a rich man again. Do not ever insult rich people. We have this ugly, most of our loved ones, sincere people, but they are truthfully speaking, not offering any value. And whenever they see blessed people, they say, see them, see them. It's a terrible way of living. Next time you see great people, don't be angry. Find out what they are doing that you're not doing. The law of value. Number three. The law of competence and excellence. Closely related to the law of value. Value as a raw material is useless. It must be refined before it is rewardable value must be refined before it is rewardable value as a potential is not rewardable it's the same thing as seeing crude oil 
as a dark paste of smelly substance but when you pass it through the required operations then you produce foil you produce other um, other very useful um, uh, um, what do we call it now very useful things that are required for home for cars and whatever you have and then they reward them competence is very important i taught you that excellence is a language it draws certain people to you the same way if i speak yoruba now every yoruba person hears immediately and they respond if i say praise the lord in yoruba will you answer in english you will answer in yoruba because i spoke your language if i say praise the lord in hausa all who understand hausa will answer back if i say praise the lord in Igbo or whatever language i use that's how excellence is excellence is a language in other words whoever understands me you are invited so if you do not come to the seat of excellence it's a sign you did not hear the language and you are not invited two excellent people can come into your life and reward you the equivalent of 1,000 people. Excellence is powerful. You must be accurate. You must be serious with whatever you are doing. You are a tailor, be excellent. You are a hairdresser, be excellent. You are a preacher, be excellent. Excellence requires thoroughness. Excellence requires exposure. Excellence requires having a reference. Excellence requires consistent development consistent development outsmarting your own records surpassing ordinary standards that's excellence anything not done excellently is not worth being seriously rewarded are we together you make yam and egg sauce but the plate is not excellent is not washed dirty plate dirty spoon you are not serious it's a sign you don't believe in your business i shouldn't come there are we together you are by that atmosphere attracting certain kinds of people the day you change your plate you are serious when people come into your restaurant you greet them you smile you're welcome sir please be seated how may we help you oh i need so 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 and so do you have cold water oh we don't have cold water here sir but we can get it for you wow he calls his colleagues because experience markets i just found a restaurant when i came here they are so cautious they are nice they are wonderful people i shouted at them and truly i later realized that i was wrong yet they apologized are we together i finished eating and i was happy you are a cab driver people enter your car you don't just frown where are you going i'm going to sabo oh yeah let's go when you reach you just pack so yeah i'll come down my money you will attract certain kinds of people but one day one rich man will disguise himself and sit down in your cab and you greet him hello sir thank you so much my joy to pick you where exactly are you going to sir? Sir, oh really you have something doing there sir thank you before you know it he looks at you how much is it 300 naira can you give me a discount well sir honestly i would love to but it may not be possible i sincerely apologize let's leave it at 300 not lie lie 300 i've been working in the morning that's a terrible person are you learning the law of excellence yes there's no need you can be nice loving yet firm it's 300 and then you drop the person um sir would you want my contact details i'm always available for you my advantage is that i live within this area i don't have to come from Sabo. if you need me i'll be ready to help you before you know it that driver attracts three or four or five people now everybody is driving but one is doing it excellently your car is neat you don't come and your car is smelling around doing all kinds of things you're driving someone he stops later on the road say oh God, how will we do now there are too many people who are not excellent they do regular things and they want extraordinary rewards listen stop excellence is doing ordinary things in an extraordinary way are we together i'm just recapping on these laws very important you must be excellent you are a hairstylist keep your saloon clean you are a tailor 
you don't have to show us you are a tailor by pieces of fabrics all around you can organize your place are we together organize your place you can't buy an ac buy a fan get a television let people come and be watching something you must be excellent you must be competent say i receive grace to be competent if you're frying akara on the road you can make your akara the best in samaru the best in zaria find out what can i add to this akara that will make it very nice maybe the packaging someone comes to take pap why don't you say okay let me get a little tampoline just at the corner here what if he's a, a respected personality wants to come and take akara and pap does he have to sit down under smoke i said that's how we do it here sorry the cups are full people are drinking the pap and he's sitting down he's hungry and doesn't have all that time but he has to wait for somebody to finish taking his pap then you quickly rinse it and pour his own no no that is a dirty environment a dirty lifestyle and a life of mediocrity why don't you get different kinds of cops you have brains discern people somebody comes looking as a smart gentleman then you can start doing certain things make some cops factor your cost into it get a little if you if you want take away you package it well don't just squeeze an, a newspaper a wire paper or a, a jam paper i don't know who wrote what there there's ink you are putting hot akara on blue ink are we together now no why don't you use what's the name of this paper ladies foil paper right why don't you change if you still must use that your own akara you put it first in a foil paper and wrap it factor your cost into it everybody say excellence get a clean table clean table put everything you're welcome sit down sir and then you'll be surprised one day somebody will tell you i have a little get together and we just decided we are rich people so it's not like we're looking for what to eat but we just want to eat akara and pap and you are the one who will make it and you'll be saying i used to sell it 10 10 naira. i said no no no, we don't do that we're giving you fifty thousand. whatever you can make just make and bring not everybody is threatened by price there are people who have conquered price they are looking for quality don't ever be deceived that everybody is asking how much no there are people who have conquered price they are looking for quality they are interested in an experience not price law number what's what's the fourth law law of what very powerful law that you must never forget as it is in your mind so it will be in your life realities are first shaped in your mind before shaped in your life you don't become neat physically first no neatness starts in your mind if you are dirty in your mind and you are neat physically in three days your environment will change to look like what your mind is do not try to correct things first from the physical correct it from the mind are we together yes if you are lazy don't just try to prompt yourself change it from the mind everything that is wrong with your physical environment came from your mind environmental conditioning genetic conditioning you have to change your mind that's why the bible says to renew our mind by the word of god i've seen people who you try to adjust their lives and temporarily they adjust but like a rubber ring you must return back to your default position you don't believe in honor because you don't know it it is not a mindset somebody whips you and says are you not going to greet him i say good afternoon sir and then in five minutes you are back to your default position of being rude and lousy it is terrible to try to fake physically something that is not a reality in your mind you will betray yourself eventually so the key to lasting change is to first create that correction from your mindset and then naturally it will flow if you are a a dishonorable person the key is to first change your mindset are we together if you are a loud person change your mindset the law of the mind is powerful 
many people have changed their lives because they changed their mindset some of you before you came for koinonia you insulted men of god and insulted everyone you joined your parents you joined your loved ones you joined other men of god to tear down other people but as you came the word of god did something to your thinking is that true there was an adjustment and you made up your mind that i will love all men i leave judgment to god now you don't try to not insult people you are free already there are some of you like we spoke about excellence some of you were not excellent at all but when you came just by observation you felt i have to be this i should iron my clothes I, i'm used to wearing clothes that i don't iron i don't care whether it's ironed or not but now i realize it's not the price of the clothes is who wears it so i iron my clothes even if it is 200 naira i don't allow my socks to be smelling around and then i now wear it no mindset the most helpless person on earth is one who is resistant to mental transformation anybody who is resistant to mental transformation there's nothing you can do with that person the law of the mind that's law number what law number five the law of faith i'll teach you two laws now very quickly and then we'll pray the law of faith are teaching success systems the fifth law is the law of faith say after me the law of faith f-a-i-t-h the law of faith the law of faith if you will ever succeed in life you will need to use your faith what is faith faith is the action you take based on the conviction you have about god and his word faith is the action you take the name given to the action not just the belief the action that is taken based on conviction obedient action based on conviction and the word of god being the source of that conviction that's called faith so when i take action based on the understanding of the word of god i have my heart is full of conviction and it, comp it compels my life to respond accordingly. I am walking in faith. Faith is conviction plus obedience. Faith is conviction plus obedience. Faith is not obedience. There must be an instruction before obedience. Faith is not just conviction. That's called belief. That you believe a thing does not mean you have faith faith is believe plus obedience conviction plus obedience many people claim they have faith they only believe the word of god are we together numbers chapter 23 verse 19 nobody will give you a guarantee for success you will have to use your faith nobody will give you a guarantee for success read it everybody is projected one to read god is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent have he said and shall he not do it or have he spoken and shall he not make it good in other words when god speaks it is within his power to make it come to pass say god has the ability to make his word come to pass say it one more time god has the ability to make his word come to pass write the following things down number one you will have to take risks to succeed you will have to take risks to succeed in 2010 during our kingdom wealth summit i taught in the business session that faith in the realm of success and especially in business and all of that is spelled r-i-s-k that's the spelling of faith we live in a world of people who are so risk averse so fearful they will never do anything christians are some of the most fearful people in terms of taking action it's one thing to wait upon the lord and to wait for seasons but it's another thing for you to know that this is a season and you close your eyes and take a step of faith brothers and sisters 
if you must meet Jesus, you must walk on that water. If it be thou, bid me come. And he said, come. There are too many people who will not take action. You will not start that business because you are afraid. I want somebody lose. I don't want to lose money. I don't want to lose my shop. I don't want to do this. What if the birds die? Africa is full of what ifs and we never take action. Stand up and do something. What if I apply and I don't get the job? It will be that I wasted money. It will take 5,000 for me to go and submit my CV in Lagos. It will take another 5,000 for me to return. Maybe I will need to book a hotel, 10,000, and stay two days. If I spend 30,000 just to submit my CV, what if I don't get the job? There is no guarantee. There is no uncle there. We live in an age of fearful people, risk-averse people. Every champion, every world changer, listen to me, is a person of risk. Abraham, take your son. It's a risk. The law of faith. A time must come in your success equation where you have to close your eyes and like Esther say, if I perish, I perish. Failure is not the end of life. Don't fear failure. When you fear failure, you program it to happen in your life. Great people are not those without failures. Listen carefully. Great people are those who have learned how to rise even when they fall. The brand 7up. For years I didn't know why it was called 7up until I began to study brands and I found out that it was called 7up because the person tried 6 times, 6 times and failed. It was the seventh time that he succeeded that's why he called it seven up so six down and then seven up you drink it and you are happy but you are drinking somebody's success after failure what if he stopped the sixth time what if he stopped the sixth time like many of you have stopped most christians think because god said to do something means that you will succeed automatically you will still go through the law of process and many times it will require failure why failure because you have to learn why failure because you have to build mastery why failure because you have to understand how things work the body of christ thinks prophecy is just an escape route from going through the law of process make no mistakes when you see people rise they have made mistakes that you did a business and failed does not mean god did not speak to you and believers will be the first to tell you sam i warned you don't open a shop i told you there's no money in zaria you claim that god told you you opened a shop after one week armed robbers came and waylaid you and by it they will say i saw a vision it's just that i didn't know how to tell you and based on that vision you close the shop and remain broke that's why many christians are poor broke and mediocre you sit down wishing I will do something one day until somebody just gets up and does it. There is a vacancy. I don't know anybody. Oh, should I apply? Should I not apply? And you are sitting there and you watch somebody with less qualifications than you. Go and submit the CV. Listen, the world only honors men of action. Not just men of wish. Men of action. After all the planning and everything, you must take action take action i want to start the school forever you have not done anything apostle god called me to be a millionaire ceo you said this thing in the year 2000 you've not registered one company millions have passed through your hands you've not done anything i will do this i will do that the world is full of people at 84 they tell you when i was 20 years i wanted to do this and for 64 years they couldn't do anything. The fearful and the cowardly never become great. Write it down. The law of faith. The fearful and the cowardly never become great. There are people today, I will learn how to drive in the name of Jesus. You started two weeks, one, one truck just passed near you and you said, it's not by force. The first time you, you went to a driving lesson, you were 19. Now you are almost 40. You can't take a car by the road. Why? Not because there are no cars. <laughs> I don't want to die. But somebody needs to carry you from one place to the other. Yet you see some of these house boys. Have you seen them during Salah? 
nine years old on bike they don't think of failure all of them they learn how to ride bike in two hours they learn how to drive their buses within two days their orgas pack it for them in pz and then while they are gisting the boys are the ones who still keep pushing it and that's how they learn in two weeks they have learned you see somebody who cannot drive anything driving to mina and you see risks that should kill him listen brothers and sisters fear runs away from courageous people fear itself as a spirit is afraid of certain people the cowardly in life never become anything one guy called me one time and he said apostle um, we we are going to I, I think it's a crusade or so somewhere and he said apostle sorry is it possible for us to call you if we are stranded I said no I didn't send you go there and go to that field and experience what it means to have supernatural testimonies go and stand there there are coppers the moment they post them you are here they post them to buy Elsa. I don't know anybody you say everybody please call on Kudis call on that how old are you 30 ah. because of inaction many of our parents the day they were leaving the village the only thing they left with was a blessing they returned back home after 20 years successful their parents just told them Tom don't pursue women don't drink beer love God be serious we bless you bye bye when they came into the city they knew nobody but their God and they started listen let me teach you something never over pamper people give them an opportunity to take action especially for those of us who are rich love your children love everybody but don't over pamper people you must give people room to take action it is God that protects most of us that's why we have weak men today we have men who are like women you know why there is too much over pampering a young boy tells you he wants to write wayek and you tell him sit down and come up with an idea how much is the form seven thousand okay think of something you can do to raise two thousand and he comes out after three hours playing computer games and he said i could not think of anything are there no grasses in people's houses to weed are we together that's why we raise a lot of irresponsible people what's wrong with meeting someone and say sir i am a young boy who is trying to um i want to move forward my parents do not have the opportunity to help me please sir can you allow me weed your grass my budget is six thousand i don't know how much this will be but i can weed your grass i can call my friends and you look at a young man walking his way to greatness and you can say go ahead and weed it and instead of giving him one thousand or two thousand you can give him three thousand and your number you have helped that boy are we together there are many people who do not want to take action there are many men today who lost their jobs since year 2000 till today they've been given all kinds of flimsy excuses that's why we love prophecy because we think prophecy is an excuse for responsibility say in the name of jesus i receive grace tonight to take action give us job 325 never fear failure write it down never fear failure never fear failure for the thing which i greatly feared is come upon me and that which i was afraid of is come unto me this is job speaking never fear failure when you fear failure you create the you activate the law of expectation failure don't be afraid of stepping into the unknown be guided yes but know that no matter how people love you you will have to take that action god is speaking to someone here your excuses are over you are getting older and older and you are not getting established why because i am i don't that my uncle promised me when i was in 200 level now your uncle is dead stop crying thank god for your your father said he would not help you you must sit down and tell yourself i'm not going to beg again i sit down and i will do something let me tell you heaven will back 
those who will take action and be serious you are waiting for marriage to bail you out you are a lazy person you are a very very lazy person there are many men who are looking for wives i don't have a problem with our ladies honestly in terms of responsibility my challenge especially over action is for brothers there are some of you looking at me right now you are growing older but your sense of responsibility is still at a zero level no action if at age 30 you are still calling home mom C, will you send me something pop C, will you send me something listen to me very carefully you are on your way to being an irresponsible husband irresponsible father you don't become responsible just because a ring entered your hand you must be a father first before you have children it is not children that make you a father it's from the word Abba the consciousness to be a provider are we together you are a man here and you are not catering for your family they may not have the courage to tell you but I'm telling you now you are failing God in that family are we together I wish I had the opportunity to reach some of our loved ones. Let me tell them. It's a shame when a daughter, a son, turns to their father and say, Father, it's, it's time. I, I need to buy a shirt. And the man says, what will I do? Sir, I'm, a, I'm in final year. I need money for my project. Should I kill myself? I tell you the truth. That is irresponsibility to the core. What should that person do? You are simply saying, go and be a prostitute. I don't care. Action. Today we are here by the grace of God because of action. After you plan, you must act. When you fail, you stand up, re-strategize and move forward. Let them laugh at you. The ones who are laughing at you have not taken action. That's why. You see, let me tell you. Anybody they are not talking about is because he's not doing anything. It's not because they like you. It's because you have not done anything yet. The law of faith. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 to 8. Please give it to us. Every great man will tell you that he pursued the unknown. Every great man will tell you he took steps when there was no guarantee. It is usually when we see the results that we think the people had any guarantee. The Bible says, ask and it shall be given to you. It says, seek and seek although you have not found it seek it listen when i started doing something about my finances i didn't know how to move from point a to point b i started the journey to success understanding it in 2004 until then it was just gambling understanding but i made up my mind 2004 i said i would learn these systems i didn't know anything no opportunity for mentorship almost everybody around me was not really making it and i said no i have to learn i remember getting dr miles monroe's books and i started from there i didn't know but i began to seek listen let me tell you do not think knowledge will come and meet you and spoon feed you pursuit is the proof of passion you must be passionate enough to pursue it i watch people right now i don't know how many times seeking for uncommon mentors in the rain in the sun and little discomfort and he says, sorry uh, the way my hair is eh? every time i'm listening once there's heat it destroys you are not and i let the ladies do it that's all right god created them that way but you as a man i have headaches so i won't listen to the message <laughs> that means that panadol is far from you because the grace and the resources to buy it will come through what enters your ears brother say in the name of jesus i did shout it in the name of jesus from this night i declare that the days of wishing are over i take action now go and start that business go and submit your cv don't sit down tell yourself by september i should be walking that's faith by september i should be walking and see whether the god of all flesh will not make it happen lord i have failed but i'm starting again i i see the mistakes i made i don't have any capital now but lord i trust in you if you 
you fall and remain there then you have really failed but if you fall and you still stand up you have not failed are we together everybody say courage shout it courage there is nobody I have watched people in this ministry rise up with no guarantee of anything and today God has honored them you must be courageous Joshua was now going to be a leader over several people several people God did not tell him Joshua make sure you eat well oh, so that you don't collapse he said be strong and of good courage they will act like fools but be strong you are a leader there is an anointing upon you you watch what we do today by the grace of God and think one uncle just gave money or somebody said I will give you venue or somebody said no nobody gives you any guarantee stop insulting your uncles your aunties your brothers and sisters and say nobody is supporting me let your faith support you let your faith support you are you hearing what I'm saying let your faith support you you had a dream and you saw yourself submitting a CV in Ibadan apostle but I've never gone there I like you to prepare and trust God for grace share the idea with two or three people carry your CV and go to the park in the night you're in Kaduna Park where are you going in Ibadan and see whether God tear your Bible if you go to Ibadan and God does not back you there he's waiting for you in Ibadan he's not waiting for you at the place of disobedience as soon as you get to Ibadan in the in the luxurious that you enter you will now meet somebody where are you going so it's like I know you somewhere ah your sister's graduation I was a classmate really where are you staying the miracle starts the Bible says this sign shall follow if you don't take steps you will not see signs apostle when will I enter I mean I need the healing anointing must you die before you know you fell under the anointing you let sick people pass you somebody says I have cancer and you just say ah I remember this cancer is can can be transferred you see that attitude of unbelief you will never walk in power what do you think a miracle service is a show nobody starts with mastery you see how children walk they start and then they start crawling do you stop them from crawling sometimes in a bid to hold the table they hit their head does that mean walking is not possible how the child hits the head you you rub it what do you tell the child sorry sorry means sorry for now continue move again you love that child but you cannot walk for the child the person who stops that child from walking is stopping him from becoming an adult are we together I wrote jam five times I didn't get it I will give up are you joking no look at jam and say jam as for me and you one of us will give up one of us will give up I will walk you and weary you where will the money come from don't worry don't worry God is alert and active watching over his word to perform it are you hearing what I'm saying Oh, apostle I'm of age and I need to move from my parents house now to get a place but uncle did not send the money keep quiet one day you get up and go and buy a bag with the 2,000 you have pack your clothes and say daddy just like you advised me I'm on my way going I got one one room somewhere and I'm going he said that one room nothing there's no carpet you say sir if I don't leave I will not become a man like you if I don't leave I will come for as long as I come back and I can go to the kitchen who had part of my yam you are still a child you need to push yourself and you stand up and while you are moving God is saying watch this the angels are backing you do not know all of a sudden the moment you get there some brothers from your fellowship will come and God will speak to somebody buy him a rock the first time you are experiencing miracles by yourself not in partnership with another person's faith your faith is growing and you begin to see that God is faithful for yourself uh, apostle I think I need a job before I move out of my father's house how was your father when he moved out of his own father's house 
Very fearful people. Very fearful people. Hallelujah. I teach responsibility, but you must conquer fear. You get out and you stay in that room. It's raining. And water is dropping on you from that one room. And you are just imagining the AC that is in your own house. Exactly. That's what made Moses a savior. Pushed him out. And as that rain is dropping, it drops and does something to your brain. And you say, no more. I can't live like this. I'm seeing the reality of irresponsibility glaring before me. The very next day, you will sell two clothes and buy one book. You are making progress. And sit down. You go and get financial dominion part one, two, three. And sit down. Next time you hear people are fasting, you don't say they are just... See, do you know why many of us don't take action? We have been reaping the harvest of many people's seeds. You think it's your faith that is working. The proof that your faith is working or not, leave all the support and stand alone. Then you will know whether you really have faith. Are we together? There are people who don't know how to trust God. There's this song in my heart. My trust is in you. You know the song? Sam, help me. Just that one song, one minute. I want you to sing that song because I believe God is speaking to somebody. You know the song I'm talking about? Lion of Judah. My trust is in you. Ancient of days, my trust is in you. I put them on you. My trust is in you. Let me so I put them on you. My trust is in you. The Lion of Judah. My trust is in you. I want you to know that God is talking to you tonight. Take action. Brothers, shout, I take action. Say it again. Someone has got to push you. And some of our parents love us too much to push us. Oh, I'm a graduate. Go and open a Babin saloon. The money you have can buy three clippers. I open it in the name of Jesus. Package a little seed and come and drop it in corn. Not for me, it's a principle, you know it. Go and open the Babin Saloon. Are we together? Yes. There are many lazy people moving around. You may not be a millionaire, but from that little God will honor you. Tell yourself, I cannot wait until the day somebody tips me. Everybody that passes you, you are waiting and hoping they drop something. When will you start blessing others? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. Can three people come and take action and say there is no ice cream making machine in Zaria? Three of us, let's come together. How much do you have? 500,000. How much do you have? 200,000. How much do you have? 100,000. Let's have an agreement. Let's get one of these shops and make one of the top ice cream machine machines around. You make it the first 20 people free. You launch it. Come and collect a bottle of oil here. Shake I will pray on it with all my heart. 
you drop it on that shop it will be like jam hold on don't shout you have never done it how many times have i spoken about it here listen listen action takers are the ones who move forward you graduated 10 years ago you submitted your cv twice and it's because they told you who do you want to spoon feed you with the job stand up and take action fail honorably and come i will help you i will pray for you and you will go back you are learning how to walk you are learning how to walk everybody say i will rise again i'm speaking to people who tried rising and then you went down and christians are usually the ones who say take it is you take it is here this this decoration how many people get married in zaria you just went to go and spend two hundred thousand to go and buy all this look at the how many ribbons you know you even say you want to do canopy you better don't destroy yourself and all of a sudden you see somebody will come and just when he's opening the canopy that's when god is bringing explosion to another church and they'll say you are the one who is supplying us look at those who supply canopies imagine if those who supply these canopies now are here in koinonia every week even if you don't do any other business again yet you are sitting down buying fake things fake whatever to prove levels that you have not gotten to challenge yourself the law of faith you must take action i have taken bold steps in my life bold steps in my life the word trust in the lord proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 is from the word bata it means throw yourself like you pick one of these are little ones you see how these my children come to greet me after service some of them just run and just fly and expect that i hold them if i don't hold them it's still me that will pay for it correct a child runs to the father you gave birth to me i didn't ask you i fly pick me that's what you do to god when you take action you put pressure on god's integrity lord you said this you said it is it is it is um what about any man that cannot cater for his family is worse than an infidel i'm a married man with three children lord i am tired of allowing waiting for my wife to come back with twenty thousand, and that's what we're all feeding from these children cannot go to school lord i receive grace to take action i will go and seek advice i will go and receive prayer i will receive an impartation but i will take action the anointing can come upon you but you must take action for it to work when did you ever lay hands on somebody to be healed oh let me run to prayer department benga or let me run to promise or oh, anybody let me run to any of the people oh let me run to this i think i'm hungry let me run to the welfare mama please ma you too you know the way nigeria is that if you if you don't challenge yourself you will never rise you need to take action take action take action tell yourself no i'm going to be responsible lord i trust you lord i believe you there are many of us who have never sown a seed do you know why because of fear never sown it god cannot even tell you to empty your account yeah, 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 yeah. you will bind bind and cast and curse and say let this voice never speak to me again that's why you can never rise i'll never forget the time the lord gave me an instruction to sow everything over 80 percent of all my clothes aside from what i did in water court and i just carried those things when i sold them it was as if i would die now i live if god tells me to empty my account and empty my life and everything i would do it gladly because i know him i know him not because i like it not because it's convenient when you know god then you'll be able to take certain steps are we together yes listen the workers in this ministry start dressing arranging chairs and canopies way before people come did anybody sign an agreement that by evening all the overflows will be full it takes faith we believe what god has said we believe that we are adding value and so in the morning people start preparing imagine that you wait until people come then you now say oh there are plenty of people today oh yeah let's go do you know that every space you give god is what he feels you have not taken action that's why your shop is still small and you are there god has been prompting your spirit move to a bigger one and you say ah god don't mock me so you will never see the miracle 
the law of faith. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 15. God is speaking to someone tonight. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 15. Ah, this thing I've shared it has fired my spirit. And so, everybody read. Talking about Abraham. Read on. And so, after he had patiently endured, did what? Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Over my destiny, my trust is in you. Help me, sir. Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Sing that song with understanding. Put them on you. Say, my trust is in you. Ancient of days, my trust is in you. Oh, I am that I am. My trust is in you. Oh, I put them on you. Say, my trust is in you. I say. My trust is in you. It takes faith to begin to prepare for five children when you are not yet in a relationship. I'm preparing. Oh, I don't want to waste my time. Who will come and marry me? Let the guy come first. When he comes and I'm sure the day he ever says, I will go and see your parents, I will read like never before. You will never marry that way. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Oh, five children are going to come out from this womb. You take a step of faith. You have not entered any relationship. Who knows me? Look at that foolish question. What do you mean who knows me? God? The God you serve? You lay your hands. Shebra, katata. You are bringing five children from this womb and they will all be a blessing. No giving birth to armed robbers. No giving birth to terrorists. I will not give birth to a son who will kill me because of trouble. You are preparing. You go and buy a book in advance. The power of a praying wife. You go and buy a book. God tells you you marry a man of God. You don't wait until the preacher comes. He may marry you as a civil servant. And after five years, God calls him into ministry. God didn't lie, but you didn't prepare. God told you you are going to be a millionaire. And you are waiting and say, God, when you said I'm going to be a millionaire, my palm sanders, everything I have home and abroad is 10,000. I can sell all my clothes for 20,000. That's foolish thinking. You go and buy a book. Lord, you have called me into kingdom financing. You told me I'm going to mentor and raise a generation and bless people. You do it. You put pictures around. Put a picture on your laptop that represents your future. And every time you see it, you prophesy. I may be small now, but in the name of the Lord Jesus, I have no father, I have no support, but I'm coming. I'm coming. I trust the name of the Lord. I may be weak. I may not be able to explain to people I'm doing something. They may even say you are lazy. What are you always doing in a room? Why are you always sitting down when you say I'm building my mind? They say what is mine? Are we going to eat mine? Just continue. The day God honors you. Then you will stand and sing this song that we are singing tonight. I believe that there is an anointing on this song this night. That people have to trust God. Take action. Trust God. It takes faith to be great. It takes faith to have a healing ministry. Nobody gives you a guarantee that anybody will be healed. It takes faith to be a man of God. It takes faith to be a businessman. It takes faith to be a wife and a mother. You are not allowed to have a child ordinarily before marriage. So how do you know you are fruitful? It takes faith. Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Of days, my trust is in you. Oh, I am that I am. My trust is in you. In my destiny, Lord, my trust is in you. Hold on. There are people who will never build the house in their lives. Many of our fathers. Their salaries were 150. Now they are retired. There is no house. You know why? Because of fear. I will build it one day. I don't have enough money. Then God granted you grace. They created one scheme in your job and gave everybody land. Four plots of land is more than enough to build a family house. Mostly, their wives will tell them, honey, build, build. 
time is going this how much is the money there's one money i'm expecting it will come tomorrow god said you have hundred thousand it can bring one tip of sand go and bring it and pour it on the side that's faith you are saying lord i'm starting this out the hand of zerubbabel that started when you start god begins to move people i remember the first day we bought equipment i remember one by one one by one i remember when i started buying you know not even just for ministry for myself to think and say one day i'll get a laptop is a joke a laptop who gives you the money see hear me this god is a good god worship team told us already this god is a faithful god but while you are waiting for him i don't know who i'm speaking to this night God is saying, I'm tired of waiting for you. Take a step. 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 Who told you the business will fail? Take a step. Are we together? Take a step. Ah, I have one million naira now. I'm thinking of starting small poultry. I'm thinking of getting a little golf. But I hear that this cars used to spoil a bee and that your profit doesn't come out. So you will remain there until the day somebody comes. Usually, those kind of people will sit down and then something will happen. You will carry 100,000 from it. Something will happen. They will invite you for one event that doesn't have head and tail. And they will massage your ego. And you will know when you carry 300,000. On behalf of me and my wife, I donate this money. And the money has finished. And you will never be successful. Success systems. The law of faith. Every great man walks on water. Every great man walks on water. It is your faith that turns that water to concrete. We are going to sing this song one more time. And then I will go to the next law. But I want you to sing it with understanding. I have trusted men, they have failed me. I have trusted systems. I trusted my certificate, it failed me. Lord, I lift my eyes and I trust in you. You are the one who can wipe my tears. My uncle promised me and disappointed me. Many have concluded that because I finished with the past, there is no greatness. That's what the devil wants to do all the time to make you not trust God. But I'm challenging men of faith. Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. My trust is in you. Psalm 89 verse 17 the law of favor Lord I pray that somebody will get this in the name of Jesus I pray that somebody will get this Psalms 89 verse 17 for thou art the glory of their strength and in thy favor shall our horn be exalted favor is the number one reason people succeed favor is the number one reason 
the number one reason why you will succeed is favor you need favor to achieve your goals and dreams you need favor to achieve your goals and dreams it is impossible to get to the place of destiny without favor no sir you've heard people say that one day of favor is worth a lifetime of labor it is hardly an exaggeration one day of favor is worth a lifetime of labor many people do not have favor in their lives why because they are not taught what favor is and how to release favor in their lives those who are even taught favor are only taught one side of favor and it's like whenever you say favor we leave it on to god god just favor us now no there is an exact equation that leads to favor favor is not a miracle write it down favor is a reaction favor is not a miracle favor is a reaction you can program favor in your life a reaction means that it is a response favor is a reaction it's not a miracle favor miracles can happen and do happen but favor is not a miracle what is favor let's define favor favor is when someone is willing to invest their life their time their resources their credibility to help you achieve your goals that's favor when somebody is willing to participate in your success it's called favor when someone is willing to invest their life invest their credibility invest their money invest their knowledge into you to help you achieve your goals it's called favor favor is not just unmerited access that's a very limited thinking limited teaching limited definition and is the reason why let me tell you whether it is merited or unmerited favor is access calling it unmerited alone is very limited favor can be merited favor can be merited your obedience and understanding the bible says good understanding secures favor favor can be merited what is favor someone willing to sacrifice their resources to help you succeed all success are related to favor all success whether all kinds of success financial success ministry success business success marital success they are directly related to favor all success testimonies you will want to write all success testimonies are related to favor i have heard so many success testimonies there is not one of them that is not related to favor there is a gap in that testimony all success testimonies are related to favor are you learning something write this down who likes you matters in your success who likes you matters in your success brothers and sisters one man called Ahasuerus hated one, one woman and her entire life crumbled just because one person of influence hated her are we together the same man who hated one woman and destroyed her entire life turned and loved Esther and her life changed overnight from a village girl to a queen who likes you matters 
now many christians think it doesn't matter i don't care who likes me or who doesn't like me if you are speaking in terms of dependence on god i understand that context but in terms of channels to release favor is a joke who likes you matters there are people listening to me from joss we came back from joss and um while i went to minister in joss you know part of the system of honor for me there was a little girl lovely lady and that they gave this thing they put on the neck and flower you know just to greet me and as soon as i got into the hotel there were people lined up and the little girl was standing and then you know we come you know recite i didn't even know what she was saying you know you are welcome to so and so and so and then put that thing and then gave me and i looked at the lady and i fell in love with that dear girl instantly and i told her i said do you know what you are my friend when i came on stage i made sure that they looked for her 10 years old and she stood because i liked her not because i know her i just liked her the next day i said they should bring her to the hotel we would drive together it was together i was gisting with her and i looked at the lady and i said i want to do something for you i want to do something for your family please bring your mother i want to see her now the rest is history but that little girl's life changed in two days simply because somebody liked her do not let anyone lie to you that who likes you does not matter i don't mean who wants to sleep with you who likes you likes you like from heaven likes you to change your life let me tell you the truth listen 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 take what i'm saying very seriously don't just laugh listen who hates you also matters when your boss hates you you will know that it matters because your life will be miserable you may be tongue talking but your boss hates you ah do you know this lady has been serving actively it's time to promote her i, I just hate her please another time and that another time is after three years but there's somebody they can like you as ah, has this person not been in this office for up to two years they say, yes i, I thought it's three three years it's like I, I changed the policy somebody like daniel and could not sleep in the night because some people manipulate a king stop sleep because he liked daniel early in the morning he got up by himself oh daniel has your god been able to deliver you daniel said i'm alive he said bring all those people daniel didn't say please can you help me punish these people the king said me bring them throw them kill all of them somebody because he likes you can fight your enemies for you enemies you don't have capacity to fight somebody can like you and put himself inside your situation what is going on here sir they want to collect our land our father is dead we are only two say no way i'm a lawyer come and meet me in my office i'm a lawyer i'm a senior advocate what did the person say because of that we will charge him to court he will not only return the land he will give you part of the money for the foundation i know what to do let's go and you are seated somewhere and you see people building a house you know nothing about because somebody liked you who likes you can change your life write this down one person can open a hundred doors of opportunities for you one person one man one person in your life showing you favor can open a hundred doors of opportunities first samuel 16 verse 22 please give it to us quickly first samuel 16 verse 22 jesus thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you and saul sends to jesse saying let david i pray thee stand before me why for he had found favor in my sight go and tell that boy's father bring me that smelly boy regardless of what it is let me tell you when you find favor before a man regardless of what your limitations are they are ignored to bless you you are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life now this is coming as a shock to many of us write it down we're getting deeper now you are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life if one day god will bless me it's a joke you are responsible 
for activating the flow of favor in your life the bible tells us in first samuel chapter 2 verse 26 that samuel grew in favor with god and with men first samuel chapter 2 verse 26 2 26 and the child samuel grew on and was in favor both with what the lord and also with men listen it is one thing to have favor with god it is an entirely different thing to have favor with men i know so many people who have favor with god but they don't have favor with men luke chapter 2 verse 52 same thing was said about jesus luke chapter 2 and verse 52 and jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with god and with men a man can increase in favor with god and favor with men the number one reason for the hardship in people's lives is lack of favor lack of favor i have seen gifted people who don't have favor i have seen blessed people in terms of abilities i have seen gifted architects no door of favor gifted engineers gifted doctors gifted students no favor i have seen gifted men have you seen men who are gifted they do work for you and you are like my god and you are at this level i know people who know everybody known yet there's no favor in their life you know that they know senate president they know one the chairman of their local government the governor's friend is their father's friend and they have they will show you the numbers of people if i show you look at this is saraki's number this is dogara's number in fact do you know that when i was staying in lagos there was a day that osimba joe came to our house i know him oh and there's no favor they watch everybody on tv ah that's ambassador abc you remember him now 1971 no favor no favor to be gifted is not enough you need favor you need men to partner with your life this ministry by the grace of god is rising not just in terms of finances because of favor favor my life today is is a humbling testimony of god's favor Psalms 102 verse 13. Psalms 102 verse 13. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Joshua Selman. Why? For the time to favor him. Yea, the set time. There is a set time for favor. And everyone prophesy to yourself, say, this is my set time say it again this is my set time turn it into a prayer in one minute lord this is my set time when promise came here he said pray tired of hardship hardship is different from poverty a hard life a life unassisted by men a life unassisted by helpers is a sign of lack of favor you can have money and not have favor when you pay for everything by yourself you don't have favor now is the time oh god that you arise the set time the set time hallelujah how many of you believe that from this night favor will begin to follow you yes i don't share my testimonies do you know why because many people misunderstand my testimonies when i share testimonies most people not you but maybe most people will think it is um it is pride you are boasting what does he think he is if i share with you testimonies of these ministries what does he think he is but sometimes it's good to encourage people testimonies are ways that let people know god is at work but because we live in a cynical world every time you speak people think you are bragging listen let me tell you brothers and sisters god is my witness and ask everybody who is close to me 
I only fund less than 20% of my life ex expenditure. Everything, almost everything in my life is paid for by men. Everything. Everything. Now, you can have the money to pay for it by yourself. We are not the same. You are not assisted. Are we together? Most people think having money is all there is to favor. No. The ability to have men stand up and say, promise, I am determined to make you succeed. If you don't believe that thing, there's no need for a comment for Koinonia this night. I looked at certain things in the body of Christ and I looked at certain men. I looked at certain ministries and I saw tears some testimonies of favor. Their life revolved as they wanted. It was as if there was a charm. Anyone who saw them, bless them. One of the greatest people, let me tell you, I am convinced. I received the impartation of favor directly from Dr. Mike Modok. I knew when it came upon my life. You know why? He's a man that is greatly criticized in the body of Christ because of seed, seed, seed and all of that. I may not necessarily believe everything, but I saw uncommon favor. Uncommon, a favor like a charm. And while others were grumbling, I said, Lord, this man is an apostle of wisdom. He is the gift of God to the body. He represents the spiritual system that controls wisdom. And the Bible says, with me, wisdom now are riches wealth and honor durable riches and righteousness he said by me kings reign and princes decree justice and i said lord this thing must happen in my life at that time you don't ever see somebody say god said i should do this god said i used to think those things were just stories you know when i think about my life today i almost want to shed tears you know why because I am a product I am if you are ever looking for a man who answers that name Ebenezer that a man that God has helped God lifted your hands that's why when I worship God I I, I, I do it I live a very happy and a very peaceful life because I found the key to God's favor there is no time in my life when I lack men to rise and assist and defend this ministry you see we are not just fearfully blessed just because of tithes and offerings the ministry of men strange dimensions of favor that I begin to share with you many of you will be afraid how do they get money we are not herbalists favor when you access these laws it will change you overnight Are we together? I'm wetting your appetite. And then I'm going to teach you quickly. While I begin to teach them, just bring the vessels and then we'll pour the oil. Because what is coming upon you tonight is the grace for favor. I want you to believe it. There is such an impartation upon a man for favor. Father, please let your people believe you. Please, please let your people believe you. If you don't believe this, you will pay for it. I promise you. There are times for months, months, I never go to the ATM. I even forget that I have an ATM. There is no 24 hours no 24 hours that somebody does not bless me no 24 hours i can give you my phone now and you can check from when i sat down till now a lot upon a lot how they got my account number i don't know brothers and sisters there are properties that have been given to me today i don't know where it is i've not gone there to see it do you believe in favor? I shared with you last year about the gold mine. 18.7 hectares of a gold mine.
given for nothing. Three kings came together and said, we must make sure he has it. It is not by might. It is not by power. Are we together? There are tailors that sew my clothes aside from one. I have never, aside from another again, two really. One, a cousin to Reverend George Adeboe of Rema. He may even be listening now with his wife. Every time I travel to Lagos to a particular church for meeting, there he comes with his wife. Materials upon materials. Favor. There are bags full of gifts I have not opened since they came. I don't even know what is there. Who told you favor does not work? There are mysterious people who have sent a lot in millions to this ministry. Nobody knows who they are. They didn't even call to say, I am so, 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 and so. What makes you think there is no favor? trusting God I think he's here and you know just felt he wanted to sow something and just held some very serious amount dropped it now I see these things all the time and I thank God but it was a woman's testimony that blessed me I saw her with a big bag some of you were big um, bucket a small bucket and I said madam what is this she came with her son do you know what she said she said man of God I was having a dream and in that dream you said you wanted to eat chin chin and the mother the woman got a bucket full of chinchi and came yesterday. It is still, it is still, I've not even opened it to see what is there. Chinchi. Favor. Favor. Day and night. Day and night. Day and night. 
this is the only way you can succeed and accelerate your life any other thing you will cry and weep and hate people that's why we cannot give because after sweating so much for 50,000 will you really be able to give it are we blessed Testimonies. there is no place and there is no day that I wake up I wake up every day may God forgive me if I'm lying there is no day I don't wake up in the morning with text messages with recharge cards and bank alerts every day including today without fail this is how I live because I found from scripture that he daily loads us with benefits sometimes I can be sitting down and see a conga van you ask the boys that work for me a conga van bam, just stops somebody has ordered something and paid for it put my address and they are offloading these things and i'm saying god what is this what are you doing to me and god says no you can stop it you can stop it if you want i'm waiting your appetite to activate this key do you really think you can live a joyful life when you sit down you really think your salary is what is going to bless you to be established who lied to you? There is a realm of favor. Are we together? I've shared with you the testimony of this ministry. Where a woman, after a program in Lagos, the woman just came, knelt down in front of me and looked at me and said, Please, the Lord led her to give us a land and gave us a land in Lekki. It's still there. I've not been there in years to see it. People have called me and said they gave me a land allocated to sell man of god on behalf of our business we put a b c d portion this is for you and i'm saying god what is this they gave us an assignment to develop maybe a 40 50 estates you know houses and all of that a man of god just to let you know that we have three or four units as our own commission and when we are done one of the units is yours and i'm saying what is this you see why I don't share my testimonies because it makes people angry and when it makes people angry they hate most people sit down and say preachers carry people's money tithes and offerings how much how much access access are we together now on on tuesday we're going to kano tomorrow and on tuesday we're going to nigerian immigration services their headquarters where the top leaders of nigerian immigration across the whole nation i have been with them for how many years now i think about four four years we go there every year i talk to them i counsel them the top of the top leaders you don't even enter their office yet for them is a privilege well done sir well done sir that's favor Listen, listen. I'm not teaching you cunningly devised favors. Favor. Favor is not just money. Men are rising to assist you to succeed. After my meeting in Joss, I had a little session for a school of ministry in Joss. And when I was done, a lady walked up and gave me something and said, Please go and give your mother. I said, Hi, this thing is still working. I just met my mother. I said, I met a lady. I don't even know who she is. She said, I should give you. And my mother said, this is what I prayed for. I was telling, I think it was um, a big letter of crayfish. And she said, I should go and give my mother. It is difficult to glorify God when you kill yourself producing the result. There is like Bishop Oyedeko called sweatless triumph. There is such a possibility. If you don't believe it, choose your destiny. But as for me, I have decided that hardship will not age me. I will not sit down and be, I will never come and manipulate you and deceive you. All of you sold to 2,000 naira so that I can have food to eat. Not when there is a God in heaven. How to activate favor? What is the mystery that controls this thing? Favor is not just unmerited access. What is the key? The first key to activating favor 
is sowing the seed of honor the first key to activating favor in your life is sowing the seed of honor write it down honor is the first key sowing the seed not receiving a harvest of honor you must sow the seed for honor because honor is the key for access when you sow seeds of honor you begin to activate favor what is honor the ability to recognize the ability to celebrate and the ability to reward men for their uniqueness that's honor not just the ability to appreciate it in your heart the ability to recognize the ability to celebrate and the ability to reward men for their honor the seed of honor i don't mean money a seed called honor you sow honor into a man's life there are many people who will never rise in life because of this honor no favor in their life they don't know the difference between a great man and a weak man everybody is the same to them all men are equal and hey, please I don't do all of this no honor many of you don't know why we sow seeds of honor we transport you after koinonia do you know why it's a seed of honor we are programming honor upon the ministry it's not just that we have a lot of money when our elderly people come we don't let them join the queue except they want to they sit down is a seed of honor when i hug our children here is a seed of honor my life is a walking seed of honor i have mastered sowing seeds of honor the first key to command on ending favor honor honor through conversations honor through your body language honor through your vest your gestures you see an elderly woman and i greet her mama how are you that's the seed of honor oh she cannot speak english no problem mama don't put yourself under pressure you don't have to know english find an interpreter seeds of honor are we together now yes i sow seeds of honor everywhere once you discern difference you sow that seed of honor that you are close to an environment of honor does not mean you will have it you must sow seeds of honor to parents the entire hamper that was given to me while i was in jaws they already know i carried it with the wine and everything and i took it home as i got home i just dropped it when my mother heard i was coming to Josh, she said what do i want i said i'm not sure and she should not do anything my mother refused and said she must do something she made chin chin and made chicken that's my mother but she has discerned that this is not only my son this is a man of god seeds of honor that's why honor keeps coming honor is not coming because she's my mother she's walking these principles let me tell you whoever walks it will receive it bad manners being rude dishonor you are driving favor from your life you don't treat people well you treat everybody like a piece of rag there are men of god who favor stopped in their life when they rose because they have no regard for anybody they receive honor from others but they don't give honor so those lower than them let me tell you the mystery behind stagnation of favor for many men they keep receiving honor those lower than you keep honoring you but then you yourself don't give honor so you remain there and all of them rise and catch up with your level and even go higher than you then you start saying you people are competing with me abi there's no such thing you refuse to rise because you too are supposed to be rising they are sowing seeds of honor if you keep sowing seeds to me in koinonia whether money or whether whatever and i don't do the same thing you need to see me when i stand before greatness you will not know it's the same apostle joshua selma you're talking about if it means me cleaning the shoes i do it with jesus joy honor it's a big secret many of us do not know honor honor i honor the holy spirit with my life i don't just serve him i don't just use him for anointing koinonia honors the holy spirit that's why you see all kinds of signs and wonders we don't ignore his presence it doesn't matter what we are teaching as the worship team whatever happens the holy spirit has unrestrained honor this ministry that's why we keep seeing signs and wonders that's why we keep seeing him lifting us 
from place to place every church i have gone to i have honored them honored them not in terms of money necessarily but honor them in terms of treating them well i don't climb anybody's pulpit and violate their doctrinal beliefs regardless of what it is i manage whatever it is they believe and i preach well if their pulpit if it's a church that they are not allowed to jump around and move and stand in one place i stand in one place because it is honor and at the end of it they say wow we found a young man who is anointed there are churches i preach you never hear me pray in tongues once it doesn't mean i don't they do not allow that in the open and then i, I subscribe honor are we together i'm showing you success systems these are the mysteries that people have engaged that has changed their lives honor you must sow seeds of honor number two how do i activate favor consistently not today up and tomorrow down to value we've spoken about it you activate favor in your life when you solve people's problems when your life is committed to solving people's problems providing valuable solutions to them it's drizzling outside please coordinate them if some of them can come in let's this is coming or they, they can get into the the um the canopies thank you so much some of them who can come in you can bring them in but most of them can go to the canopies god bless you and thank you hallelujah solving problems we are blessed as a ministry because we solve problems as i'm teaching now i'm adding value to you is that true I'm adding value listen let me tell you something your when you start solving people's problems you should do honor thank you sir there are people I've never seen who call me man of God I just listened to your message essentials for a glorious relationship you just saved our marriage here is a little seed man of God I just listened to your message financial dominion man of God I just listened to your message why revivals die solving problems the moment you solve problems you show honor and everywhere there is honor i teach that there is favor and everywhere there is favor there are all kinds of rewards including finances so the more valuable you become in solving people's problems joseph scheduled a season of favor for himself because he was in the prison and he noticed that the prisoners were not laughing Dr. Mike Wooder calls wisdom the ability to discern difference. And he saw that their countenance, something was wrong. And he asked them, what is wrong? They were not the ones who came and told him the dream. He said, what is wrong? And he said, ah, okay, you have asked, let me tell you. This is what happened. And he interpreted the dreams and it happened. Value. You must begin to solve people's problems. They will love you. They will honor you. You must cry to God for grace to be a problem solver. You are either creating problems or solving them. You are either creating problems or solving them. If some of these chairs are free, please let, let's not have people stand. They can occupy the chairs. God bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Number three. The third key to commanding favor in your life is integrity. The third key to activating favor in your life is integrity. Integrity. Very, very important. What is integrity? It comes from the word integer. Sameness. Consistency. Let me tell you something. You're a man of God here. Listen to me. Before people begin to bless you and sow into your church or your ministry, they will probe your life. Don't think because you just started ministry, people will bless you. They will probe your life. They will hear testimonies of changed lives and want to watch whether he's like one of them. After a life, a season of integrity and consistency, then they conclude. You know, let me tell you something. Hold on. Many people think that the moment you are anointed, you are charismatic. 
people will just be loyal to you like that it's a dream there are many anointed people who have attention but no loyalty do you know why because people must vet your life and find out that you are worthy of their loyalty nobody will be loyal to you like that parents will not just ask their children oh i don't have a problem with you loving this man of god give people a chance to probe your life and clear their doubts then they will honor you are we together when we started out in this ministry most people thought that you know we're just joking most people thought it was all this young people's thing and for 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 years most people thought i was on serious it's just all these young guys doing things on campus it's just these people trying to do something but eventually i never was angry with them because every great man must be probed same people should not probe you is a joke they check your character with ladies they check your character with money they check your character with discipline they see how you manage challenges they see a lot of it is based on that they will say Kai, this man is worth my commitment we have seen that god brought two naira to his hand and that two naira did not change him he did not stop preaching the truth just because he's looking for food to eat this is a consistent man this man will be my pastor there are many people roaming around calling everybody son calling everybody daughter what investment have you made in their life you must allow people probe you you start a business and they suspect whether your product there are people when i started out because of the dimension of the anointing in my life many people thought you know you know anytime you see somebody walking in unusual levels of the anointing you may think that maybe some kind of charm or whatever it is and i used to hear people say it and i say leave them even me if i attended koinonia and i watched a man called joshua selma i would think he's holding a charm and then you watch there are many people some of you seated today years ago you would be the last person to be here because you had your differences some of you argued it but with time now you are some of the strongest people do you know there are people in many nations of the world and their assignment is to take koinonia messages there are whole churches that sit down and what they use for either evening service or midweek service is a koinonia message and they just sit down there are youth groups youth fellowships around you know why because they took out time to probe you and when they see integrity the ability to be unbending regardless of the situations there are men of god who start teaching and say don't manipulate money from people but the day they have needs as a ministry they start bending to that standards are we together yes once people see integrity and consistency then they make up their minds to listen to anything you say listen let people probe you until they find a reason to believe you never stop anybody listen if there is anything you are unsure of about my life and this ministry you have a right to sit down and clear your conviction so that you are confident are we together Many of you get angry when people suspect you. <laughs> How come Pastor Alpha have been watching him? The way he has been rising in the last three months. This guy may have taught something. Abba, am I not innocent? Let people probe you. Home so that when they believe you, they will be the greatest defense. I know you. There are people today, they are the ones who are defending this ministry. Ah, no. I used to know this brother. There was a day he gave me 50 naira. He started his giving sins. Do you know the people who accuse you today will be the ones to defend you tomorrow give them a chance to have a testimony by themselves there are people who think the miracles that we announce here are manipulated or faked simply because they've heard that maybe some churches do a lot of things and they come here and then the person who falls under the anointing is seated close to them they watch it with their own eyes and then eventually their own sicknesses leave and they go back and say wow i have seen for myself integrity the third key to activating favor consistency integrity unbending unbending consistently producing results when we started the school of ministry this is the fifth set now when we started the school of ministry most people thought it was a joke let me tell you something look up please 
as a man of god let me give you a great advice the moment you are doing too many things and you cannot continue in them men will stop believing you you just get up today and says we have 14 days of fire vigil and then after 12 days okay, we found out that things are happening we are not doing this again there are too many inconsistent people we are going to start koinonia business school and after two weeks nobody comes then you close it when people probe you and they see that you are too erratic you know what it means to be erratic you just come up with programs there's no consistency nobody will submit to such an authority people want to see consistency they want to know that this is who you are they want to know that you can be predictable you never hear anybody come and give testimony here i don't care whether you're a millionaire or whatever i have never gone to the house of anybody in the name of going there to find out and say okay we are some of our top uh, offering givers and tight payers in koinonia i love you so much and uh, i just wanted you to know that we have the following needs no if i've ever come to your house to tell you we have the following needs stand up hallelujah how many men of god have destroyed integrity from their lives they go around harassing church members and look at people and say uh we don't know if god is speaking to you there's a drum set the thing has turned honestly it's embarrassing and you inconvenience people everywhere integrity please bring bring the, the continuous now. number four the third the fourth key to activating favor is quality relationships quality relationships favor is relationship dependent that's why i taught you those other laws quality relationship who you know matters it gives you access men can be wings to you men can become wings to you there are people we know today that can speak for us there are people i know today that can speak for me are we together they can make ex exemptions for you you sow seeds of favor seeds of favor and it changes your life forever relationships number five the third key to activating favor is praying favor provoking prayers there are favor provoking prayers the bible says for everyone that asketh receiveth everyone that asketh lord open my heavens cause men to bless me put an anointing upon my life that makes men bless me favor provoking prayers you can pray your way among other things into favor favor provoking prayers many of us don't pray i pray it seriously lord this ministry is a well-watered garden people are coming givers are coming my life is a good soil people are sowing into my life as they sow into my life they receive a hundredfold harvest when you sow into a man's life and you receive a harvest nobody will tell you to do it again you will continue doing it again and again and again they sow into your life and nothing happens these are the seeds that you sow and then number six the sixth way of provoking or activating favor in your life is by an impartation from the careers of that anointing an impartation of the grace for favor an impartation of the grace for favor from the careers of the anointing this oil is not what anoints you this oil is simply oil when the oil is anointed then it becomes a medium to bless you the oil in itself has to be anointed this is not anointing oil this is oil after the prayers on it it becomes an anointing oil and it can bless you can favor be transferred can that grace the mantle the grace for favor be transferred absolutely there are people in this ministry that are carrying it bodily there are people who have begun to see it in their lives like day and night people call me all the time and say my god apostle this thing works like charm and tonight it will come upon your life 
what does favor give you in life speed speed what are the benefits of activating favor speed speed something that would take men 10 years can be achieved in three months under an atmosphere of favor What are the benefits of favor? Number two, ease. Ease. The mystery of ease. People like Bishop Oyedeko would call it sweatless triumph. Ease. Where the lines just fall for you in pleasant places and you have a good heritage. Battles that stand before you. While you are preparing to fight them, you open the door and find dead bodies. Favor fought your battles. Favor has fought my battles in life. I have seen ah, for the things you have done and the battles you have won. Only you are worthy of my praise. praise. We magnify your name. Koinonia, look at this. We are in Zaria in the north. This whole road. This is a major road, but this whole road is blocked every Friday. Every Friday. Go and try to block a road somewhere in the name of service and see what happens to you. Everything works for our favor in this ministry. Everything, regardless of what it is. You try to fight this ministry, you will watch by yourself activating favor and making it happen. You don't fight a man of favor and win. It's a waste of time. It's like boxing in war. Where a man that carries the mantle of favor is untouchable. Literally untouchable. Because God will raise help left, right and center. Left, right and center. Left, right and center. Many of our parents have no favor. No doors opening for them. Nothing happening. Favor. Koinonia today is a place of favor. 70% of the people who are blessed by this ministry have never seen me. How do you follow a man when the videos are not even uploaded on YouTube? They don't know the picture. The first and only time certain people have seen me is dreams. Yet you listen to the message, it forces you to look for someone and give him. Whether you like it or not. That's not normal. There are people following scattered across different nations this night. Favor has brought me honor. Favor has brought me glory. I have stood before politicians. I have stood before kings. I have stood before billionaires. I have drank of their minds and their wisdom for free. Men have given me access, uncommon access, uncommon doors. It still happens all the time and it will not fail. There are people who send me text messages every time. Apostle, is there anything we can do for you? We want to do for you. I don't know how many people in this ministry send text messages every time. We want to wash your car. We want to do something. Somebody came early in the morning. I was sleeping and I had, it, it was like there was water splashing on my car. And I checked and I saw somebody washing my car. By force, I know if I ask you, you won't agree. I said, what is this one? Honestly, they even disturb it, just washing the car with joy. I said, now, if I drive this person, favor, favor. It is real and it happens. We have sown seeds of favor. We meet the security people, we honor them, we bless them. The, the Nigerian Union of Road Transport Workers. They come here, some, I'm sure many of them are outside here with the buses and they are waiting. 99% of them are not necessarily Christians. But they love Koinonia and they will come and wait and watch the service and watch everything happening. No complaint. You know why? Because seeds of honor have been sown. Seeds of honor has been sown. There are so many people 
we have scattered seeds of honor around. Look at CGC and the honor that they have shown this ministry. I have never seen a ministry with men of God as humble and members that love Jesus and truthfully like the members in this church. CGC. It is true. It is true. It is from my heart and it is true. Hallelujah. Some of the pastors are my fathers and literally those men can see me and just greet like this. And I'm wise enough to know that whilst they are sowing seeds of honor, I must sow seeds of honor. Every time people sow seeds of honor, sow it back. Don't receive and wait. You receive, they have risen, but you have remained where you are. They will be calling you a superstar, but it will be for a short time until they catch up with you. Somebody blesses you. Ah, um, Pastor Alpha, bless you. You reciprocate back. That way both of you have risen. We sow into the lives of mission agencies because we honor what they represent. That's why souls continue to be saved here. David Ibiu may the Lord ask him to go and meet Billy Graham before he dies. And David Ibiu may travel to America, carried a very huge seed, sowed into the life of Billy Graham. And Billy Graham said a word of prayer for him. He said he came back and preached a very simple message. And about one third of the church came out for altar call. He carried something. Whenever you see consistency, there is something. Tonight, you are about to receive an impartation. This may be one of the most important days in your life. Some of you have never had a man of God impart anything upon you. You have gone for anointing services. Some of you have all kinds of oils in your house. Oil does not anoint. The oil is anointed to anoint. My prayer is that there will be a replication of results. This is my prayer. And I, don't, I know that not everybody will believe it. But brothers and sisters, if you believe this, God has given me honor. God has given me honor, honor beyond my level in life. Everything connected to me has flourished. God has blessed me. He has done all kinds of things. While you are seated, everyone, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, this is the moment. I'm ready to succeed. I am tired of failing. I am tired of hardship. Pray. You have taken all my shame. You've taken all my tears. You've taken all my cries. You've taken all disappointments. You've taken all my pain. You've taken all my shame. And you have made them yours. My heart. Sorrows, you've taken all my pain, you've taken all my sorrows, you've taken all my pain. You have the meals, the highest praise of the king. You have been the meals, highest praise.
in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty empty it is favor that fills your account it is favor that builds the house for you I want to pray on this anointing I like you to pray while you are praying Lord every anointing for favor upon the life of this ministry upon the life of your servant must be reproduced verbatim in my life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray Be careful, put it. There is a heavy anointing on these oils. Heavy unction of the spirit. Heavy anointing. I want to pray. Now, this is how we're going to do it. Listen, there are there's this is the main ball. There's overflow one, there's overflow two, the road, there's ever overflow three. Now, the way we are going to do it, I'm going to I'm going to lay my hands as I speak now. There will be people standing. Please, it takes a lot of time. We will be fast. Many of you will not be able to stand. I don't know how we'll manage this. The moment this oil touches your head and you receive it, begin to prophesy. Command things to hear your voice and command them to produce for you. Don't just have the oil and sit down and you are watching. Are we together? And then we are going to round up. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have anointed me, you have shown me favor. You have granted me access to mysteries. And Lord, I decree and declare, this oil is about coming upon the life of your people. In the name of Jesus, Lord, everyone, please help me with the mic. Every single person who partakes of this impartation, Lord, may everything around them turn around. May everything around them turn around. Miracle jobs by this favor. Turn around miracles by this favor. In the name of Jesus, let hopeless situations change. Let hopeless situations change. Let the barren receive twins, triplets. Lord, in one month, may men become millionaires. I say it again. In one month, may people who don't have anything in their pocket now, let it be a testimony that will shock everyone. May businesses arise from nowhere. Let there be people here that will start paying the school fees of several children because of how blessed they will be. I decree and declare, while this is an oil of favor, I call it the oil of judgment. As this oil comes on your head, I declare that because of what is on your head, someone must be laid to rest to let you go. Listen, uncomplicated.
completed projects, whether academics, whether whatever, as this oil comes, the grace for completion comes with it. Hear me? Anyone here struggling financially, except it is not the hand of God that is upon my life, I decree and declare that as this oil comes upon you, in ways that even you, you cannot explain, God will change your stories and wipe your tears. Can I talk to you, Mama? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing the spirit of death over your head. Don't be afraid. I'm seeing the spirit of death over your head. And the Lord is saying, if we don't pray for you, that's how you'll be getting up and a bike will collide with a car. It's like a station wagon and it will kill you for nothing. But the Lord is saying, I should pray for you. The second thing is there's no finances at all. Everything flat. Is that true? Is that true in your life? Is what why you came? Where is your daughter? Do you have a daughter? Huh? I'm seeing a lady close to you. Like a, a I don't know if she's a, a daughter or a logical or not. Because I'm seeing the Lord is saying that He wants to bless her with marriage. You are the one? Okay, you are the one standing close to her. Are you ready to marry? Because God is going to surprise you. Do you believe that? Huh? Say I receive. I receive. I receive. You are not, you are, you are trying to be a lady, but my dear, prophecy, you speak a madman like this. I'm only responding to God. Just out and see what the anointing does. Shout, I receive as loud as I receive. Jesus Christ, I take that curse over your head. Mama, you will not die. All of you here, stretch your hands to her and say, Mama will not die. Take her as your mother. Pray for her. Mama will not die. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm looking at this other mama. I don't know what's wrong with this woman. But there are three things I see the devil want to do. Number one, eyes. Ah. Huh? But two, I'm seeing her inside a coffin. They have already closed it. And there's blood on top of the coffin. Are you hearing what I'm somebody use her eyes to make money with it this is what the lord is showing me i'm not a prophet of doom me don't like what i'm saying but i cannot but say what god is asking me to say are you here i'm seeing a lady here I'm, I'm still going to come in please we're trying to work with the time um but i'm seeing a lady here how you know is the power of god is about to come upon you right now one of the ladies here this is witchcraft that has destroyed the life of your family and the lord wants me to minister to you in this other overflow father wherever she is right now locate her the power of god is going to come on one lady right now it will be like fire you can't stand it it will come upon you please when that happens let me know that lady right now not just those inside i know god is inside, but this row this row father wherever that lady is i'm declaring right now by the anointing of the spirit of god that she will be located so that her can be free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Um, your name means joy. It's a tribal name, but it has joy. It's like it. Who is that person, please? Your name means joy. That's if you translate your name, it has something to do with joy. Joy or joyful or something like that. Do we have someone like that? Please make sure you are telling the truth so that it doesn't look like we're acting. If, if you are that cop with the protocol, who is that? What's that? Come. What's your name? What I means what? Child of joy. I want to pray for you. Where is your mother? She's in Kaduna. Is this working? Okay. Tell your mother her time lay hands on you and I want that if you go back and see your mom just ask her to allow you to break through my hands upon you right now I don't mean their English names are joy what's, what's your name from where
Where is your family? Kaduna, I'm going to pray for you because that has tied your family down. I look at me, look at me. Does it make sense to you? The Lord is dead because I'm seeing your family tied down in witchcraft. And God is saying that He's lifting them up by His grace. Father, let it end right now. Out of this family, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands on all of you. I lay my hands on all of you. I lay my hands upon you. Help her, please. Help her so that she Who is that? In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Please hold on. There is a lady wearing white scarf. She's on at the wall. She's leaning on the wall. Where is that lady? Please bring her. I'm seeing in a vision. There's a lady wearing white scarf. White scarf. Is there someone like that? You are leaning on the fence. White scarf. Who is that? Is there someone like that? Give God a praise. Is that what's your name favor. Favor. but there's nothing favorable in your life and the lord is saying change her story do i know you that your name is favor i want to pray for you do you believe if i pray for you the lord will grant you favor hold my hands in the name of jesus christ i restore favor to you right now i restore favor to you by the power of the holy spirit come my dear this lady yes come Hallelujah. There is an anointing. Listen. There is an anointing. Um, I promise those of you outside, by the grace of God, hopefully by next miracle service, we'll try to work on amplifying the sound so that it will, it will be very clear for you outside. All right? I know that the people did their best, but you can see that the crowds are increasing. Praise the Lord. But there was an anointing that was upon Esther. It's called the favor anointing. In the course of the meeting, I'm going to be praying for people. But the Lord is saying, I should minister this to you. Do you believe it? Huh? Father, in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon this lady and I release this grace upon her. In the name of Jesus, I release this anointing upon her. In the name of Jesus, I release this anointing upon her. In the name of Jesus, who came from Ano? I'm seeing Kano. Come. You are not alone. You are with one lady. Where are you? Huh? Two of you. Husband and wife. Come. Did you tell me you are coming? Come. She's your friend. Who is she? How are you, my dear? You came from Kano. What do you do? I'm seeing. Uh, no, you are not just a student. There's something else you are doing. Teaching. You are teaching. How about her? Witchcraft is what God is breaking now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because I'm seeing something like a chain leaving your friend. I command that chain to leave right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I lay my hands upon you and I, I command that chain to go. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for you I declare. You will step into a new dimension of intimacy with God. That's what you need. You have been praying. Boom fast and help him. You fasted that God will give you an anointing. It's not an anointing for ministry. It's an anointing for fellowship with God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of 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 Jesus Christ. Look at me. What has happened to your music ministry? That's what the Lord is saying I should tell you. Huh? Do you sing? Sing something. Let's hear. My God is awesome. He will move the whole world. What has happened to your music ministry? God gave you an anointing. You have been playing games with it. Come. Because God wants to restore that fire. As soon as I pass you, I saw... I saw, I heard like music and God says restore his music ministry. There are three things that can destroy a man's ministry, any ministry. One, pride. Huh? Two, women or men or anything. Just human beings. 
are you hearing what i'm saying and then number three is premature exposure when people don't stay with the spirit to create a track record but i'm going to pray for you huh you, your characters you, you must you must behave well behave like where you are going are you hearing what i'm saying this is you you need a lot of restoration in your life it's not because anything is wrong you, it's just that you need to step up otherwise you will not experience the grace of god but there is an anointing upon your music ministry and i lay my hands upon you right now you step into that level in the name of jesus christ all of you here please lift your hands i want to pray for you please lift your hands and believe as i pray for you and i count three i want you to shout the name jesus there are people here under yokes and spells as soon as you shout that name jesus the anointing of the spirit will move through this very overflow this very overflow i wanted to leave but god is still speaking to me about this overflow please i want you to believe help them so they don't fall inside the gutter father i'm doing as you have instructed me and i prophesy right now that as they all shout the name of jesus let the power of god visit the foundations of every family represented here are you ready now at the count of three one two three right now in the name of jesus right now help them right now in the name of jesus i cause that spirit 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 from your life and your destiny there is a, a man that appears to one lady here as i pray for you now fire is coming upon you you will never see that man again not in your dreams i command him go 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 in the name of jesus christ i bring you deliverance by the power of the holy spirit it never comes to you again never 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 in the name of jesus greater strength greater prayer fire greater prayer fire greater prayer fire in the name of jesus the lady with the black hat tap that lady for me look at me stretch your hands where you are an anointing is coming upon you right now beauty for ashes says the spirit beauty for ashes i release that anointing upon you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ before i leave this place there are seven people the spirit of prayer is coming upon you right now seven people lord where are they right now right now across this place seven people it's like fire to come upon you some are men some are women take it take it take it right now take it right now the spirit of prayer the spirit of prayer the spirit of prayer 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 the spirit of prayer like never before tap this lady for me the lord is visiting you and he's wiping your tears in the name of jesus the lord is saying he's wiping your tears by the power of the holy spirit the lord is wiping your tears in the name of jesus christ the lord is wiping your tears let it end right now let it end now now never to return to you again never to return i stretch my hands all over this room right now right now right now right now every force of darkness never returns in the name of jesus there is a spirit i'm dealing with i know what i'm seeing right now right now i judge you by the god of heaven right now let them go let them go let them go now in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing the hands of certain people tied here like a chain holding your hands those of you here just lift your hands don't worry once it constants you you cannot stand it father visit them right now you will feel like literally fire on your hands the chain is breaking right now i stretch my hands let it break 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 now 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 let it break i break it by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost now i break that chain in the name of jesus i break that chain in the name of jesus i break that chain in the name of jesus 
I restore your glory. I restore your glory in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, please pray and ask the Lord to visit you. Pray and ask the Lord to visit you. Aha. Aha. You must go. In the name of Jesus, you must go. Go, go, go. Any spirit represented here, you must leave right now. I tell you, any force of darkness tying down your life. Who is this, Mama? Hold on, please. Hold on. Who is this, Mama? My brother. What's wrong with your marriage? This person I'm seeing was supposed to die October 21st. It's because of prayer. Because you used to carry this picture everywhere you go. I'm seeing you in a meeting. Stand up, madam. I'm seeing you in a meeting. No, no, no. Please. This is help her with a handkerchief. This is a mother. You don't have to cry, please. This woman you are seeing is a very good woman. I'm seeing you in all kinds of meetings. You are not even concerned about your own problem. You are lifting up this person because I'm saying 21st October, he was to be to die and please, Mama, it's okay. It's okay. The Lord will help you in the name of Jesus Christ. Because you too, you have problems, but you are not even concerned about your problem. You are not concerned about what is happening to your finances. You are not concerned about the pain in your back. You keep feeling pain in your back when you wake up. As I enter here. I hear my pain just go away. The pain just went away when she came here. Look at this. Even before the meeting. From Kaduna, me and my... Hold on. Okay. I'm all away from Kaduna. We, my children sleep with your, with your scriptures. We work with your scriptures. Even if I will go and pass you in, the scriptures is on. The two of them are pastors. One is here. The other one is here. I finished university here and this prayer I'm a widow. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I have a ministry. <laughs> you have a ministry. My goodness. Can you imagine? I'm looking at you. What is I'm seeing your ministry has something to do with spring. There's spring. There's spring. In the name that is above all names. Mama, listen. Please don't cry. The Lord is visiting you. Because this woman you see is an intercessor this woman can stay for hours praying for people who are not even up it's none of our business as the holy spirit ministers to her you see but nothing is changing in your own life you pray for people and god will do miracles it's true. is that true the lord says i should tell you your whole life would you Amen. hallelujah please come follow me mama the lord is wiping are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord is wiping your tears. Who is this? Huh? Ah, mommy, this is not your son. Hold on. This boy is not your... You are calling him son, but he's not your son. Because I'm looking at him and I'm not seeing a father. Where's your father? He's dead, sir. Father is dead. And this is what the Lord... I'm looking at him and I'm not seeing father. It's like... The father is related to you. He's my elder. And so you took him as your son. That's why you are calling him son. But this boy is not your son. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord is going to use you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord is going to use you mightily. Huh? Mommy, you, God is wiping your tears because this finance, the thing can't just enter your hand. It will enter and go out. And we have to pray. Because the people that killed his father want to destroy you. And we have to pray. I'm not, I don't want you to feel bad. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He's gone and, but we're not just going to allow it happen until they come and kill mama. And it's because of the destiny of this person. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord is going to visit you in a way that will surprise you. What's wrong with you? You see, Ba? What the Lord is showing me, I'm not going to say everything here, but what the Lord is showing me, today, they will see that he has one sickness. They will do another test. Huh? They will do a scan and come out with something else.
the devil is just playing using medicine to play with your mind this is witchcraft they have already buried this person and this issue has finished but in the name of the lord jesus christ i'm declaring and i'm speaking to everyone here i stand under the anointing and i pray for you that every power that is tying down your family it must leave you this night in the name of jesus it must leave you this night it must go 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 the same thing it must go in the mighty name of jesus christ please come madam the lord is saying i shall anoint you come you are going to do great things for god god is going to use you greatly i know you may not think you are like that but god will use you from today i open your eyes to the realm of the spirit you will step into unusual dimensions of grace i activate dimensions in your spirit elisha prayed and the eyes of the servant was open i open your eyes to visionary encounters in the name of jesus christ stretch your hands towards our mother here this woman's situation has really touched me come mama no 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 mommy please stand up stretch your hands and let's pray for our mother all the way from kaduna a woman with a ministry interceding for others this is our brother the devil wants to terminate the life of this person i like us to pray over this picture and say in the name of jesus the same power that raised christ from the dead the same power that raised christ from the dead hallelujah mommy will you believe if i tell you you are stepping into an unusual healing ministry from tonight listen you believe with all your heart have you forgotten the dream god showed you where you saw yourself in a meeting praying for people i believe i saw it so i remember did you tell me is now is the time for that dream to come to pass because you had a dream you saw yourself praying for people and just pray healing them and you are healing them and you have been interceding innocently the lord is telling me that now is the time for your ministry to step into another level two areas the issue of barrenness the issue of barrenness it will be like a special anointing to destroy barrenness are you hearing what i'm saying you will come back and testify before the people of god this thing is being recorded and the second area the second area is hiv such an anointing will come upon you as you pray for people with hiv listen paul said i desire to see you he said that i may impart some spiritual gift it doesn't matter the age impartation can happen are you hearing what i'm saying madam hold my hands i want you to shout jesus and watch what begins to happen to you go ahead father i pray from today an anointing an anointing a transference of grace an ordinary woman will become a woman of power from today an ordinary woman will carry an anointing of the spirit in a strange way in a strange way go and heal the sick 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 in the name of jesus christ come madam look at me come watch this mommy lay your hand on him and pray for him just do what i'm asking you to do lay your hands and speak to him look at me you carry this anointing and you will wreak havoc in the kingdom of darkness anointing is not for show brothers and sisters but i tell you it will scare you this anointing will bring wealth to you people will sow into your life because of the impact in her life come on go when you go back lay this picture on your brother and pray for him god will take him out of that hospital and when he does bring him here and he will come and testify to the glory of god the lord told me he's wiping your tears come sir what do you do 
What do you do? What did you study? I'm going to pray for you. You want to further? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Political science. Because God is going to use you in the area of leadership. It was in, in prayer God put in your spirit to study political science. Amen. Although what you studied, um, I'm not seeing a university like a college or something. Federal College, College of Education. You study something that has to do with education. Business education. Business education. But then it's leadership. And God is taking you to that position. When you study it, he will make you a great leader. Amen. Are you getting what I'm saying? Amen. Wait, Mr. Man. Just wait. Let me finish. I'm praying for you. Make sure when God blesses you, you never forget this woman. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You never forget this woman. She has done what for you many people will not do. She has taken you as a son. She has spent her money to the last to help you. Is that true? If you forget this woman, God will not be happy with you. Let me use this as an encouragement. You see, when somebody suffers to help you and you rise, you will be a wicked person to forget that person. Some of us are like this. Some of our parents have labored to help us. Don't say, I must be a millionaire before I bless them. The day God gives you 20,000, you can take 1,000 and say, Mama, take. Some of us are very greedy. God is blessing you, but you are still latching onto the little resources of the parents. It must change. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Father, take him to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus, I impart upon you wisdom and leadership. Occupy that mountain. Fire is coming upon your hands. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. Father, visit our mother. For what you have done, Mama, my God will visit you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you from the depth of my heart. My God will visit you. In the name of Jesus. Please bring this woman for me. This one wearing this very one yes this she's she's not feeling fine something is wrong with her please let her come is god blessing you tonight who brought her please who brought her if you brought her please come with her so that we we'll know what it is What's wrong with her, Mama? Diabetes. Diabetes. How old is she? Do you know? Oh, you just met her. Oh, you know her. Okay, it's your junior sister. From where? Can she hear me? Or do you need somebody to talk to her in the language? You need translation. If I talk to you, can you talk to her in the language? Tell her that Jesus Christ is going to heal her of diabetes. What tribe are you, madam? Eh? You got her pastor Alpha now. Carry Mike. What are you here? Oh, yeah, yeah, carry Mike. Because I'm trying to, let's make this easy. Give him Mike, please. Every tribe here, there must be somebody. If there's nobody who lay hands on somebody for the purpose, there's no other Mike. Okay, don't worry. Come, Pastor. Tell her that Jesus Christ is going to visit her. Jesus, at your guy, my adore. Ask her question. Tell her God will heal her of diabetes. All joy, dog, diabetes, go and mother. And the dream of death that she has been having. Or now, who can nale? And God is going to heal her. All joy, not the only thing. How does that heal her? Diabetes. What couldn't she do? Mama, ask, tell her I'm going to pray for her and the power of God will come. And me and her will run here now. Tell her to 
I'm going to pray for her and we will not walk, we will run together. Tell her not to worry. Let, let's pray. In the name of Jesus, we pray. We if we do Jesus, in the name of Jesus, if we do Jesus, I rebuke who dot down diabetes. Diabetes. From her body. In the name of Jesus. If we do Jesus. Look at what is happening to her. It's a spirit. Look at. Are you seeing this? Look at the spirit. You call it sickness. Look at what is happening. This is an old woman. Huh? Diabetes is a spirit. I command it to live now. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. Mama. Tell her. Tell her. Then you can that. She's going to do what she has never done. And she should not be afraid. Tell her to her hands. Walk, come. Fast, come. Come, come. Turn around. Turn around. Run, run, come. Come on, give Jesus praise. Look at the miracle here. Look at the miracle. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, come on. Give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Hold on. Sam, give us one powerful Igala song. Where is Sam? You sang one song during Annie's wedding. Eh? Sing that song. Tell Mama she's going to dance now. Eh? And Igala people will join her and dance to the shame of the devil. Hosanna, oh, oh my David. Oh, Chonuka, Wama, Hosanna, Hosanna, oh, oh my David. Oh, Chonuka, Wama, Hosanna, Hosanna, 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 oh my David. Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my lady. Oh, John, oh, come, Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my lady. Oh, John, oh, come, Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my lady. Oh, John, oh, come, Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my lady. Oh, John, oh, come. Give Jesus a shout, a shout, a shout. This miracle remains permanent forever. How many? How many of you saw the way that woman was standing here? You saw the way she was standing. Look how God can change a man's story. Hallelujah! Give Jesus praise. God bless you. There is a woman here that they brought. I don't know where she is, but I'm seeing. Is, is something that is a medical condition. I don't know if it's a fibroid or a growth. Please, who is that person? We really have to be fast. A growth, like a, I don't know if it's a growth that the person came with. They, they said the person has something like a growth. I don't know if it's a fibroid now. Whether it's... Eh? No, no, no. The person I'm talking about is here. Oh. It may be inside or outside. I'm seeing somebody. Um, it's like there's a medical condition that has to do with a swelling or growth or something. Who is that? Who is that person? Come. No, you're all, you are not sick. It's, it's demons. Just stand. We'll deal with that one now. Now. Your, eh? No, no, no. Leave him. This, your stomach is swollen. They want to kill you. Somebody, somebody hit you with something in a dream some months back you didn't even remember now your stomach is swelling we'll deal with that one i don't know you i'm just just stand there that one is, is an easy something this come the come you have a problem come up the devil I, the devil wants to destroy this lady because if i don't pray for you they will i'm seeing your case getting so serious they will now take you to india for a kidney pr transplant what's wrong with you kidney what does that mean? How do you know it's The doctor told 
with me. I cannot lie on both sides of my head. You can't lie down here. Yes, and even yet, I sleep straight. You see the wickedness of the devil. That even to sleep, you can't sleep this way. You can't sleep. How and how else do you sleep? Lie down flat. That devil must leave you. What's your name? Precious. You know her. Who knows her? Before you now start talking another rubbish story. Daddy, please come, sir. Our, our daddy, yes, sir. Our daddy is praying a prayer. And the prayer has to do with, no. The Hold your photo like this, sir. Open it to the third one. That's what I want to talk to you about. One, okay. I'm seeing, okay, I thought it was the third one. Back, I'm seeing another photo. This thing is like, it's supposed to be three. It's not two. Where is the third one? It's at home. That's the one I want to talk about. That's why I said take it to the third one. You brought two here. But the person I want to talk about, there is a third one. Who is in that photo? Henry. Henry. Because we want to pray. Demons stop him from coming. Did you ask him to come? I asked him to come. He chose not to. That's what I'm saying. If that boy had come, let me tell you. Do you know that if 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 you can come for koinonia alone you don't want to know the powers you overcame to arrive tell somebody koinonia and see the way demons fight they are coming here flimsy excuses they will tell you ah, i just think i don't have this is because the devil knows he knows that's what happened to this person and you see today would have been his day of visitation i looked at this and i saw three because i'm not you may see me looking at you physically but i'm operating from the spirit i saw three pictures and i said go to the third one you left the third one at home just like the person to come if he agreed the holy ghost would have reminded you and forced you to carry the third one you see please brothers and sisters when you invite people and they refuse don't insult them you're a spiritual man you should know that is to you a sign that God wants them to be here. Are we together now? Daddy, I'm going to talk to you now and I'll pray with you. There's something about him, but I will not tell you in public. Huh? So that you will not hear that this person left the faith into something else. You hear what I'm saying? I don't want, it's not something where this is a public talk, but it's we don't want to hear that kind of story because it's already happening there is a spirit that converts men it doesn't happen by default we must attack it in the name of jesus christ where is this our lady come we are going to pray for this kidney both of your kidneys is verified that you have a, a kidney problem so we're going to pray lay your hands on it please can we pray for this dear one anything that happens to one of us happens to all of us don't say it's not yet my issue. Uh -uh. Pray for her. Your prayer is working. There's a surgery the Lord is doing in her. Place your hand on her. I command that devil right now out out of her that spirit masquerading as kidney kidney problem in the name of jesus christ i command a miracle for you right now i stretch my hands i make contact by the anointing of the holy ghost my goodness there's such power flowing i declare a miracle i declare a miracle i declare a miracle stand up stand up what couldn't you do before press it press it right now Look, the 
lady, see, see, the lady is even surprised. Even her, her and her own body, she's even surprised that something is happening. Her and her own body, I pray that God will anoint you to be able to bring healing and deliverance to people in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't know how cheap the devil is until you are really anointed. If you are not anointed, you will make a ceremony out of nothing. But when that anointing, it's not about trying to get it done. If it's there, it's there. If it's not there, it's not there. My dear, check it. Honestly, if there's pain, tell us. We will not be afraid. There's... God is touching another lady. Heal her, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Fire is coming on a lady's throat. I don't know what has to do. I'm about to pray for the sick, but I'm seeing throat right now. There is a lady like that. Fire is coming. Something will touch your throat. It's like a sickness. My dear, I like you to shout, I am healed. Shout it. I am healed. Shout it again. I am healed. Shout it one more time. Go and check yourself and you come back to testify. In the name of Jesus, King Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The anointing is on that lady covering her, her mouth and nose. This lady, I don't know who she is. I'm not, yes, that very lady you are holding. There's a strong anointing on her. Strong anointing on her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Strong anointing on her. We're going to be very fast because it's cold and we have to there's one of the ushers the power of god is coming on you now i know you are doing ushering work wherever you are i'm seeing an usher please bring that person right now an usher lady right now you are busy doing your work quietly but the anointing of god will land on you right now where's the usher please bring her you're an usher you are doing your work that's all right but God needs to visit you now. That you are walking, whether ushering or protocol, you mind your business. There's somebody in welfare, welfare. The power of God is coming on somebody in welfare right now. Welfare department, welfare department. I'm seeing an anointing coming on somebody in welfare department. God just does strange things. They are called signs and wonders. We really don't know why it's done. Before we continue, there's one person from protocol. That's what I see in the spirit. Protocol department. The protocol department. There's somebody that the Lord is touching right now. In protocol department, wherever you are, I really don't care where, whether inside or outside. But God is touching somebody right now. Right now in protocol department. It's like fire. It will just come on you all of a sudden. It's a sign and a wonder. It's a miracle. Please let me have those people out. There's a reason why I'm calling them out. That person from Poshri. Who is that? Protocol department. Where's the person from? Welfare. 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 Hallelujah. Bring three of them. It's a prophetic language. I want to tell you what God is saying through this. The first impartation is God prophesying to men that you are entering into new seasons. So just like an usher brings you, it's a prophetic word. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I release it upon you. I release it upon you right now. Just like an usher takes you into a new level. I stand under this anointing and I prophesy enter a new season. Enter a new dimension. In the name of Jesus. The impartation upon the welfare person is the mystery of supplies. The Lord is saying he's ending stagnancy in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is ending stagnancy in the name of Jesus Christ. The person from the protocol, the Lord is saying, I will be your defender. Even in this season, I release that word upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone that came with a sick person, um, 
It's already happening to Pastor Femi. But Pastor Femi and three members of Rema will come under the anointing right now. Three members who are members of Rema Chapel. That's what I'm seeing. As it's happening to him, it's happening to three people. Three people who attend Rema Chapel. Three people. In the name of the Lord Jesus. It's a new season for you. New season for you. New season for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. You don't have to bring them out. Just leave them where they are. Hallelujah. We have five minutes to do this. Five minutes because there is the session where I prophesy. Please make sure we are going to try to finish fast. But make sure you receive everything. Don't come and waste your time and stay. Now all those who came with sick people apart from those who have been healed if you brought somebody sick please bring them out quickly quickly let's lay hands on them give us some worship. please quickly the Lord is healing people there's the healing anointing in this place right now God is a miracle worker God is a miracle worker. Please, quickly. No matter which of the overflows, brothers and sisters, there is multiplied grace in this house. Don't come and go back sick. You just need a touch. It's, it's just a touch. There's no need for any long story. So you don't necessarily have to be saying this what is wrong with me if i don't ask you just a touch even if you are coming here for the first time hallelujah praise the lord those of us who are out here jesus loves you that's why he wants to heal you please i want you to receive you can reject it but i want you to receive it with all your heart as i pray for you you go back check yourself because of time we may not have time to share testimony, but hold on, please. Let me say something about testimonies. Um, it is, you are robbing God of glory when God gives you healing and blessings. There are so many people who God has been touching, but they never return to give thanks. One of the ways you maintain your miracle is by giving thanks. Please come. Your breakthrough has come. Yes, please, madam, come. The Lord is bringing a visitation to you right now. Don't put her up. Just keep her somewhere because the anointing is still on her. And so that she doesn't keep collapsing up and down. Look how many people are trusting God for healing. Ma, please look at me. God is restoring you financially, spiritually financially there is an anointing on you as i speak to you financially spiritually i'm seeing god step even into your marriage our mother is crying your marriage this is the reason why you came because there's nothing there god is stepping in to do a miracle for you to the glory of his name miracle for you who is this your mom what's wrong with her Why didn't you bring her here? Yola. Yola. Hold the picture. Just hold it. I will use you as a point of contact. Hold it with both of your hands. The power of God will come through the picture to you and will touch her right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, let your healing power touch Mama. She's in Yola, but touch her, oh God. Right now, in the name of Jesus. God is also bringing speed into your life. Speed, right now. By the anointing of the holy spirit speed i prophesy it upon you never to be the same again and we pray for healing for mama he will testify in the name of jesus the anointing is so strong on you god is bringing restoration in your marriage god is bringing restoration in your finances god is bringing restoration in your spiritual life i command everything the devil has stolen to give way in the name of Jesus. There are so many people here and we are going to be very fast. Just a touch. Please, I want you to believe. If you are standing in for somebody, you can agree with them. As you go back, you can touch them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
I want you to believe will be very fast in the name of Jesus. All over the congregation, I want you to begin to pray in tongues because immediately after this will be prophesying. While you are praying in tongues, pass your prayer request. Both the one for souls and then your prayer request. Please pass it. So ushers, you can split yourself inside and outside. Someone attend to those in the overflows. Please, very quick. Thank you, Jesus. Let your power touch your people right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. A glorious God. A miracle world. Right Hold on, let me attend to this gentleman. I promise that we'll look at him. Everybody look if you can look at it from your screens or wherever. You see that when you look at this guy, this is unusual. This is abnormal, right? How long has it been, my brother? Since last year. What happened to you? Uh, the, uh, I am, I'm just sick. I don't know what is happening to me. So I went to the hospital. They said I should go and do scanning. They said my spleen don't, don't big. My spleen don't big. So later on, what is that? Come now, doctor. You're already here. The spleen is an organ that reserves blood just below the ribs on the left side. I'm wondering that it's a cancer is disturbing me. Cancer. Cancer of what? For now, that I'm still there for this hospital for this uh, Shika. So they never told me for cancer for what was still. Who told you about this place? It's my friend. May God bless that friend forever. In the name of Jesus. My brother, look at me. Do you believe Jesus can touch you? I, I believe Jesus. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. I'm born again. I'm born again, sir. You are serious with him? Yes, sir. Very, very serious. Very serious. I want you to know that Jesus loves you. Do you think he will just watch you just die like that? Do you believe it's his will for your stomach to be swelling? If you have a child and you have the power to help that child and you see the child's stomach swelling like that, will you smile and tell him continue and die? Is that love? So I want you to know that this thing, God has no hand in it. This is the devil. The Bible says, for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy the works of the devil. Lay your hands on your stomach. Don't let the name cancer scare you. You understand? It is because of what you have heard, the conditioning in your spirit that has made you feel that it's cancer. Uh, and made you feel it is destructive. There is the life of God. It's called the way. The very life of God. And I want to pray to you. You believe that? You want to kill that cancer and it must leave your body so that you will not die. I believe that like every other person, you have your plans and aspirations. And this is already threatening you to cut short your life. Huh? Are you married? Where's your wife? Because I'm seeing your wife crying. Your wife is already thinking now and saying that this is how my husband will die. And I'll have to start looking for another man to marry me. The devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus. Father, do a miracle for this brother. We know that cancer is a spirit. In the name of Jesus, cancer, die. In the name of Jesus. The condition for your disappearance in this body. We bring them to place. And I'm prophesying in the name of Jesus. That this cancer will die. And it will leave your body forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will return and you will testify. Make sure you testify when God gives you a breakthrough. What's your name? Sarah. Sarah. So make sure you testify. In the name of Jesus Christ.
I worship forever. I worship forever. I worship forever, Lord. I worship forever. I worship forever. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're getting into the most important. Please, those outside, can we rise? This is a very prophetic moment. Hallelujah. This is a very, very serious moment. The requests here contain the names of loved ones. I want you to know that everyone is an evangelist this year. There is, there is need for massive salvation. The Lord spoke to me and said he's trusting that he will find the people who will bring souls this year like never before. And I told him, I said, Lord, I'm available. So make sure that from now till December, you don't come alone. We, we are on a mission. Not just to ease ourselves of the guilt of not being soul winners. It's serious business. Hallelujah. Please, those who are yet to submit the names of their loved ones that you are trusting God for them to be saved and then our requests. Very quickly, we have a few minutes. Now, we're going to do it in this order. The moment, let me make an altar call before we pray for this so we can conserve our time. There are people here. Hear me. First overflow, second overflow across the road. Listen. There are people here, probably you were invited and you know that you need to make your ways right with Jesus. The Bible says, for God so loved the world, he so loved you and he demonstrated that love by giving his all, his one and only begotten son. Please, by the way, I don't want you to miss the series we are starting next week. We are taking a series on the gospel. We are going to be examining who Jesus is and the message that he brought. What is the content in the gospel that really saves men so this is profound we preachers have been distracted teaching people on restoration and demons we need to get back and let people understand who jesus is what message did he bring and why is it very powerful where are we really going with all this christianity thing so it's a powerful series you don't want to miss it will be having that all through february praise the lord it will rattle the foundation of your understanding about God and will be walking in exchange hallelujah for instance let me give you a little preview um, the message of Jesus when he came his message was just one word repent that's all Jesus said repent so we're going to be checking what does it mean to repent does it mean to come and emotionally answer a, a, a poem to repeat after the man of God what, what is the what is the jurisdiction of that word repent hallelujah so this is very very important I'm going to make an altar call now and while the people march forward please clear the way for them we'll stretch our hands and be interceding first for souls leave the issue of your needs we're going to intercede you wrote their names you know call them by their names and say Lord we receive their salvation if you save me you can save them you don't want to watch your family members in hell and they are calling on you and saying you know me we came out from the same womb but some of them we know that they are going to hell there's no confusion about it god is a god of love we'll be learning next week but then the truth is there is hell don't let anybody deceive you there is a place called hell there are people there right now praise the lord you are here you need to make your ways right with god you've been hearing preachers talk again and again outside inside you probably are making this decision for the first time seriously in your life or you've been answering many other calls you don't even know how many and you don't know the name of what you have been doing and tonight you are saying i really want to come out and make a decision or you have even given your life to christ you are a pastor you are you know functioning in the body of christ but you know that you need a a rededication of your life things happen around your life discouragements god didn't answer your prayer and he made you to derail out of the way of the lord those two categories of people i'm going to count one to five please for time's sake 
for time's sake wherever you are leave your seat and run like there's fire on the mountain especially for those outside one quickly god bless you god bless you don't don't fight it win that war tonight there are so many people coming from outside no matter how far don't say it's too far make your way to jesus god bless you one two keep coming please don't stop don't let your friend don't let anyone stop you this is a destiny decision you have seen the power of god you have seen the grace of god you know that he loves you that he allowed you come for koinonia tonight it's a sign that he loves you and he has great plans for you make your way to the front very quickly while they come keep coming please stretch your hands towards this request and begin to pray in tongues please everybody pray in tongues first for the salvation forget about your prayer request please keep coming you know you need to be out here no matter how long it will take please make your way to the front no matter what you have done jesus loves you and he can give you a new beginning so make your way to the front stretch your hands and let's pray on this request all of you that are inside just stretch your hands as a point of contact those outside stretch your hands towards the screen and let's pray Lord, we pray for every soul, every soul, every soul, every soul, every soul, every soul, every soul in this place. Lord, save them. Some of them are not even Christians. Save them to the uttermost, young and old. We receive their salvation. Give them dreams, give them encounters. You died for them, they must not go to hell. You have great plans for them. They need to experience the love of Jesus. We intercede for their souls. We intercede for their souls. We intercede for their souls. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, save our fathers, save our mothers, save our brothers, our classmates, our colleagues in the office. In the name of Jesus, our families, no matter how far they are from the cross, bring them to meetings, give them encounters. Holy Spirit, we permit your ministry in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now begin to pray over your request lay your hands over your request by faith and say lord i turn it into a testimony go ahead and pray i turn it into a testimony i turn it into a testimony i turn it into a testimony Father, give your people testimonies, breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, we bring this before your altar. Give your people manifold testimonies, manifold testimonies, manifold testimonies, manifold testimonies, manifold testimonies, manifold testimonies. In the name of Jesus, manifold testimonies by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, we pray for every soul represented here. We release angels of salvation wherever they are in the name that is above all names. We authorize these angels to hunt for their souls. They will know no peace till they find the cross. In the name of Jesus Christ, we release dreams 
we release visions of Jesus we release encounters with the world in the name of Jesus everywhere they turn to they will hear the gospel they will hear it in church they will hear it in class they will hear it everywhere for those who have vowed that they will not give their life to Christ Lord in the name of Jesus we we place their stubbornness side by side with the blood of Jesus and we declare that their souls must be saved and not only saved they will be saved added to the church and established in righteousness in the name of Jesus Lord we pray for these requests Lord right here are humanly speaking impossible situations but Lord as I walk upon them they become testimonies as I walk upon them they become testimonies and Lord your people will stand to testify in the presence of everyone healings and miracles and breakthroughs and salvations and restorations in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ now those of you who are making this decision for Jesus Christ I love you from the depth of my heart and I thank you for coming out to accept Jesus Christ it's a very noble decision hallelujah there's no need to feel as if you are going to hellfire it's an exciting thing because it looks natural but it is supernatural in every way lift your right hand and say this after me I'm just guiding you but it's, it's, it's the truth from your heart that really sets you free say Lord Jesus I love you with all my heart some of you as you are praying you will literally feel things leaving you as you are praying Jesus said I am the way the truth and I am the life say after me again Lord Jesus I believe in you and I love you with all my heart I accept that I cannot help myself and I ask you tonight save me cleanse me in the name of Jesus everything in me that is not from you I command to leave me right now I declare that I have eternal life in my spirit I'm a child of God my goodness I sense such heavy anointing of the Holy Spirit even just right here in the altar right here I'm sensing that there is such a strong anointing ministering to people ministering to people something is entering you in the name of the lord jesus christ those who are getting born again as you are getting born again some of you are getting filled with the holy ghost instantly instantly because i see the power of god coming on some of you in the name of jesus say after me from today i'm a child of god the life of god is in me i will never be the same in the name of jesus Keep your hands lifted i pray for you by the power of the holy spirit may you become mighty men and women of the spirit in the name of jesus may god do great and mighty things in and through your life i really pray for you from the depth of my heart may you never go back to the systems of this world again may the holy spirit guide you may he instruct you and teach you in the name of jesus christ may you be established in righteousness in Jesus name I pray may God bless you I'd like you to follow the lady waving her hands she will have your details and I promise that we'll send you a text and we'll follow you up may God bless you in Jesus name follow the lady very quickly hallelujah God bless you please everyone stand everyone stand I want to speak over your life now and please I want you to pay attention those outside this is when everybody gets to receive something mighty upon their lives I believe in the power of prophecy I believe in its ability to change the course of your life please let's prepare the announcement quickly so that we can take it afterwards we have seen in this house what God has done with prophecy when Pastor Alpha came up here he was admonishing us and he told us he said you don't just believe in the Lord but you believe in the prophets that he has put. this is not human worship it's an election of grace God sends men and anoints them with apostolic and, and prophetic mantles and graces 
because he wants to use the words through them to step into your life and destiny there will be radical change as I, I prophesy over your life lift your hands inside and outside lift your hands the power of God is strong I already feel like fire on my hands I speak over your life a dimension of speed you have never seen a dimension of speed you have never seen receive it right now in the name of Jesus Christ receive it right now in the name of Jesus inside and outside let a mantle come on you for supernatural speed in the name of Jesus I pray for you every spiritual blindness everything covering your eyes from accessing insight in the Word of God you need insight your life is at the mercy of the spiritual insight you have I'm praying for you like a veil torn from a man's eyes I command that veil to be torn right now I command that veil to be torn right now I command that veil to be torn right now I speak against the spirit of limitation that force from hell it allows you to move forward but it will say you will not cross this border in the name that is above all names I come under this anointing this night and I command whatever limit you have seen in your life I break it tonight I break that limit tonight in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every strange dream every spiritual encounter of the night that is not orchestrated from heaven every visitation of demons they appear as animals they appear as men as women they appear as all kinds of things seeing yourself in primary school wearing all kinds of things I don't care what it is in the name that is above all names I command judgment upon those spirits now I command judgment upon those spirits now every voice that calls you forth in your sleep and programs tragedy over your destiny the Bible was not it didn't leave us in darkness as to what happens when men sleep I pray whatever calls you forth and your sleep and reprograms your destiny so that you wake up into tragedies by the blood of Jesus I attack those enchanters I challenge their enchantment in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you prosperity like you have never seen a dimension of wealth like you have never seen receive it in the name of Jesus I pray upon you the same way favor can come on a man like a mantle you can carry you can know you are carrying help that guy please see this will come on people seriously this ministry has enjoyed a level of inexplainable favor I'm praying for you from that which has come upon this ministry let it come upon your life right now I release that favor in the name of Jesus receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it receive that favor receive that favor hallelujah I pray for you and Jabez was more honorable listen honor is not just age honor is a mantle God can is a distinguishing anointing that sets you apart and men not only recognize your difference but they celebrate it I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus Christ from today an unction comes upon you a strange grace that makes men to celebrate who you are and what you carry 
believe me when I say this I pray for you inside and outside from the depth of my spirit that mantle of honor that distinguishing anointing receive it in the name of Jesus I pray for your families every project that has refused to be completed I don't care what it is the Bible says the hand of Zerubbabel that began this work that same hand will complete it I'm praying for you whatever has experienced stagnancy in your family I supply spirit power and I command it to start moving forward in the name of Jesus Christ every uncompleted project hear the word of the Lord tonight I command you to be completed in the name of Jesus I've said it again and again that the next level of your life is a destiny help I way listen listen I have seen in my life and I have enjoyed the strange ministry of destiny helpers brothers and sisters God does not need 20 people to change your life one correct person can just step into your life there was a man who some friends insisted he must be healed they carried him and tossed somebody's zinc and brought him to those are not friends they are destiny helpers my God in the name of Jesus I don't know where they are who must appear in your life between now and February but in the name that is above all names I speak to the north I speak to the south I speak to the east I speak to the west destiny help us come forth now come forth now financial help us come forth now marital help us come forth now academic help us come forth now career help us come forth now If there are no human beings to occupy that position angels must appear in human bodies and perform that role I pray for you the Lord told us this year is a year of multiplied grace and influence I want you to go back and meditate on it you already see what is happening in the house the house has entered another dimension and everybody who cares has entered that dimension I pray for you I don't know what level of grace you have been functioning in but I pray listen to what I'm about to tell you in the name of Jesus whatever dimension of grace you have seen right now I stand under this apostolic anointing I multiply that grace upon your life I multiply that grace I multiply that healing power I multiply that deliverance power I multiply that grace for favor I multiply that teaching anointing I multiply your influence where you could not have gone by now I pray by the wings of the spirit may you be carried to strange dimensions of influence where your business has not gotten to where your certificate could not have entered in the name of Jesus I expand your spiritual borders and I compel influence in your life in the name of Jesus Christ when you open your mouth to call for help I force your words to enter the ears of an helper in the name of Jesus Christ I say it again koinonia that if you dare open your mouth to cry for help I declare may that word not die till it enters the ears of your helper I speak to the elements of creation I compel them to come in alignment with your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ I use the earth as a point of contact every human being works on the earth I speak that anywhere the earth sees you let it compel favor for you some of you may not understand what I'm doing just believe me 
Job said, for out of the earth comes bread. I command. The bread that is buried for your destiny in the earth, I call it out. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know the desires of your heart, but I'm praying that between now and the next miracle service, that you will come and stand before the people of God and testify to the might of God. Everything that has brought tears out of your family, I judge it right now. Every career person, listen to me, we are forcing promotion this year. Don't say it cannot happen, you will fool yourself. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Look, in the name that is above all names, the mystery of lifting, may it come upon your life. Every student here, your CGPA has ears and I want to speak to it. In the name, you had the testimony of that gentleman. He didn't even complete the testimony. He sent me the text. He was praying for 0.11 and that's exactly what he got. 0.11 and it brought him to 3.50. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Especially for those who are just starting 100 level. You will start with a mysterious GPA that will shock people. I pray for those who have tried and tried. But your academics is just hooking you. You have done all you know to do. I bail you out of it this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. I bail you out of it this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, I pray for you. I must pray for your spiritual life. Encounters that you have never had. Listen. You need encounters in your life. You need encounters. You hear people like Bishop Oyedeko mention encounters and what he transmitted in them. I pray. Strange encounters with the Spirit of God, with the Word of God that will launch your destiny to another dimension. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Nothing dies in your hands. I say it again. Nothing dies in your hands. Those who came from far, I prophesy to you. You left all and paid the price to come. Carry an unction that will shock all that know you. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will go back to your campuses. You will go back to your job. You will go back to your homes with a mysterious anointing that will distinguish you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I bless you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I declare that the miracles begin in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Give Jesus a clap of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please keep standing. Just give me a minute or two and then we're done. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye